Hello everyone, it looks like we are live. It is a bit jerky, I don't know what's going on there, but it should sort itself out because normally that's what happens. So, welcome back to Live Game Coding. I am uh, Zoe Kirk Robinson, your hostess with the most S. <laughs> I have a very squeaky chair, so you'll hear that a few times during this stream. I'm just going to move back a bit and uh, let's get straight into it because we have a fair amount to do today. I want to make sure that this game is ready today so that people can play it over the Easter weekend. I think that's important in this uh, period of lockdown where everyone's bored to tears that we get some entertainment. So, let's have a look at the map that we've got. Where is my map? There it is. So, we've got a nice map of uh, the game and we've done all of the uh, basement area most of this area and part of the top area we have one room to do in the main area that is the officers quarters and uh, that is going to be important because i want to add in some flavor text that explains how to finish the game basically it's going to explain where all the people have gone and what is going to happen to finish the game hello to patrick and stephen Good to see you. Uh, happy that you could be here. Hope you're having a great day. Also, hope that you're staying safe. That bang, if you heard it, is next door. Now, uh, next door, is one of their kids is ill and they're crying and shouting a lot. So if you hear that, that's what it is. Don't worry. We all know what it is. So let's just get on, shall we? And uh, I'll bring up the main game. So we need to go through to uh, the back of uh, the first, the second area. Although actually, no, we don't. I've just realized we don't have to walk through because we don't know where we're going yet, do we? Yeah, we need to go to area 19, so we need to add an area. I'll just make a note of that. Now, there are two officers, and uh, originally I was going to have this as two different officers' quarters, but I thought the best thing to do to conserve memory will actually be to create one area. So add an area, and then, by working quickly, we can split this into uh, a uh, a nice big place for us. I'll take my hat off, because uh, although I love it, and it's great for giving me a bit of a, a, a nice look on the the game, at the moment, it's really hot. Edit uh, the cube. What's up about Object 24, Patrick? What's the matter? Area 1, Object 20. I don't have anything written down for that. Uh, yeah, nothing written down as uh, it being really useful. Uh, right. Oh, the 8x8 block that's in the air. Yes. That's it. Uh, okay, I'll show you what that is, Patrick. That's not a problem. Uh, we'll go back to conditions. The general condition, general condition one. If visible, object twenty four in room one, then make it invisible and set the health to two hundred and fifty, the score to zero, the fuel to zero, and the uh, number of uh, uh, data cards picked up to zero, which we don't actually use, and then set the timer to two hundred and fifty five then end. That's what that's for. It's basically the setup. It's there to, uh, if you can see this, it means that the game has reset. So set all of these uh, variables to these amounts and then make the, the object invisible. That's all it's for. It's just a little check. So there you go. That's what that's for. And the code was on the screen there, so you could uh, see it if you need to. All right, let's uh, set up this room. I'm going to do it a little bit different to how I've done with the previous rooms because I'm going to basically put this right down the middle as a dividing wall and use uh, two um, blocks for the back so that we can have the rooms different colours. Yep, no problem, Patrick. One, two three and uh, stretch it this way if I remember correctly Stephen says that we don't actually need that uh, block as a check we can just use the general conditions to set uh, 
everything up at the start of the game. But by the time he told me that, uh, I'd already done it my way. So I didn't change it. Right, that's... Actually, I'm going to shrink it a little bit. I want a little bit of space for a uh, kind of small corridor here. Right, that's uh, that done. Okay. And copy it. Can we copy this cube and uh, drop it in place? It's probably above, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sake, give me the cube! Don't start early with you being weird. Got plenty of time to be weird later. Right, that should do it. Right, is that on the ground? Yes, it is. Move it right to the back. As far as it'll go. Yeah. And move it this way to the far wall. Almost there, almost there. Yeah, that works. So, we've now got our first room. And uh, we'll do the same over here with the second room. Copy this cube again. Do, 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 do. There it is. Oh. I really managed to badly hurt myself when I burnt my throat. Chemical burns in the throat are awful. It causes a swelling, and then you can't uh, swallow without being in pain. It's really annoying. How far back? This has got H to go back, hasn't it? There it is, right. Okay, so that's uh, that room as well. <coughs> and uh, we're creating another cube. Putting it at the back. No, don't load, don't load, don't load. Don't... Oh my goodness, I don't want to lose all of the work we've done. I mean, we haven't done much, but I don't want to lose it. Oh, it's too eager to move the cursor at times. I complain about this every single live stream, and it's always the same. This is going to be quite an interesting uh, little build because we're essentially putting in two rooms in one area that because of the way that I've set up the back and the middle divide they can have different wall colours I want to just separate them out a bit and give it a bit of different uh, colour compared to the rest of the place and uh, Patrick uh, has been trying to port the game to uh, the Spectrum and the Commodore so if he wants to change the colours that's perfectly fine with me there's no set colour for this I mean, we're, we're literally making it up as we go along so, go with whatever works, really. So, let's set these uh, shades. I'm set this side as... Ooh, uh, let's do 9. Make it a little bit different. And these will be invisible, so we can speed this area up. Shade the cube that we've just put in. Uh, this side, I believe, would be nine. Nope. Turn that invisible. This side. Which one have I just done? Oh, I'm doing the back wall, aren't I? I've got confused. Uh, let's have ten. Yeah, I'm doing the back wall, so we can turn everything else invisible, just to keep the processing requirements down. Okie dokie dokie. 
shade the one above that. Is this one nine or is this one ten? Nope, that's nine. That's uh, invisible even, that's nine. And turn the rest off, except for the end one, which I've now got to try and find. Uh, move across. So if I do uh, 10 on this, yeah, that's the one. So we can turn the other side off. Okay, right, we've got a bit of a characteristic now with that. Shade this end cube. I'm betting that should be 10. No, that should be invisible. This one 10? You'd think I'd know by now, wouldn't you? This side, what shall we shade this? Uh, oh, it's the same cube, I should have kept it on screen. I'm thinking 15. Let's make it a bit weird. Okay. Yeah, this uh, officer's quarters is going to look weird. Because why not? There we are. Zero and zero and ten and zero. So there we are. Oh, that one doesn't go right to the edge. <gasps> We're living on the edge here. Edit uh, this one and move it right to the edge. Come on, there we are, there we are. Right, so now we've got uh, one room and one almost room. Yeah, they're all right to the edge, okay. So we create a new cube. Hey, Novabook, how you doing? I am doing pretty good, actually. I'm fully recovered from uh, the virus that may well have been coronavirus, but possibly wasn't, because who knows? We can't get tested. All the testing equipment didn't work. <laughs> actually, if I turn this, I don't have to shade it, do I? We can, well, we've already shaded in the colour that we want, so we'll do that. So I hope you're all uh, keeping well. Hi there, uh, JJXB2004. How are you doing? Hope you're doing fine. So we're almost ready to start putting the stuff into this room now. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Oh, by the way, Novabug, how's your last doing? Uh, I, I hope she's recovered from that accident, the, the car accident. But uh, hopefully she got out before, and all the checkups were over with, before all this virus started coming around, because that would be... I would not want to be in that situation, I tell you. So I hope everything's all right with you guys. Uh, is that the invisible one? Oh, nope, that is the one that we need. <laughs> Out of uh, six possibilities, I went for the one that we needed. Well done, me. Let's make all these invisible to keep the uh, game running smooth, or at least as smooth as possible. No, Amstrad Action. I was looking this up earlier with PD Fun and their, what was it, Adventures in uh, Virtual Computer World or something? I was looking it up earlier on, and uh, everyone said said in the answer action review that uh, making a game in 3D construction kit was slow. And yeah, it is compared to some processors, but actually it's not that bad. There are certainly worse and uh, more long-winded ways of doing games. I've really enjoyed this. Move this over to... No, no, don't move me. Move the cube. Where is it? Where's my cube? There it is. My goodness, it's slow. Oh, no, that's too far. Stephen, that is an excellent idea. Hi, Chief, how are you doing? That is an excellent idea. Reduce the size of the screen in the version that uh, we know it already works in and then port it to the Spectrum 
And there won't be any... Yeah, that's a great idea. Right, that should work out. Turn it round so that it fits with the colours that are already there. And Bob's your uncle, as they say. So let's uh, stretch this across. Shrink it down. No, don't shrink it heightwards. Shrink it down depthward. There we go. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Shade that because we'll need it shaded. And hopefully this is the right side. No, it's not. It's the one I wanted to keep the right color. Oh. Again, every time I pick the wrong one. And uh, delete, uh, in that, well, make invisible, the uh, top and bottom colours that we'll not see. Right. And copy that so that we don't have to faff about again. Edit it. And... Do -do 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 -do. Boof. Boof. It's right up there. Stephen, uh, this won't be the final game we make in 3D Construction Kit. Don't worry about that. There will be more, just uh, this one will be released. All good things have to be released in the end. And, also, and some bad things, too. Let's bring this over. And drop it down. Right, that's in. Excellent. So if we move over to this side, we'll be able to see it line up against the wall. Right. And bring it this way. No, don't, no, 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 no. That way, go on. Yeah. <laughs> what have you got this time, JJ? <laughs> We weren't a bad influence on you, were we? Oh dear. There you go. Right, now we have both rooms, which is excellent. So. Now I need to put in a wall at the back because it's vitally important that we have something to put the door against. <laughs> Edit cube. Yes. Shrink it as far as possible. And then pull it out one. One, two, three. And then stretch it as far as it'll go. Oh, you found a PSU. Well, that's excellent. Well, Stephen, you might not be looking for credit, but um, you are credited on the uh, the the play screen that I've designed. A few of you are, actually. Anyone that's uh, thrown ideas and assistance in for the game, you're, you're credited on the screen. So as long as I get that to screen to work and actually look all right once I put it into the editor, then uh, that's what's going to happen. Okay, here we are. Is that as far as it'll go? There we go. Right, now create the rectangle because we need that for the door. So, 
room 19, maybe 19 even. The door is uh, object 10. One is entrance, of course. Right. Ricky tangy. And expand. Yeah. Whoa, I've made it go through the lines. We want it to be. Can you? No! Ah, no, don't! I press reset. Go to area 19. Ah! Alright, we're still on the 6.9k uh, free, which is good. Because if we keep about 1.6k free, then this game will entirely load into the spectrum when it's converted over. So that is my goal, to make it as easy as possible to not have to faff about with uh, the conversion for people. So we need to shade uh, rectangle 10, get rid of the back because it's not going to be seen, turn that black because that is our doorway colour, and there we are. Right, so if we now stand in front of this door... We don't have a huge amount of space to do this, but if we stand in front of the door and area edit entrance one and set it to where we are, excellent, okay. Right. Conditions local create. Condition local edit one. If hit ten, because that is our rectangle, yes, then go to and we don't have an entrance in area two yet do we 52 will be entrance from officers quarters i think we did actually put it in go to 52 in area two and if so let's see if this works yes it does excellent excellent uh, Patrick, if you go up to uh, General and set window, that should give you your size for for the window on um, the uh, 3D construction kit for the Amstrad CPC. I'm not going to change it in the, this version, but you can if you want. Uh, well, you will need to if you want to convert the spectrum. So, uh, we need to do the conditions here. Local... No, don't delete the... <laughs> oh. It's getting too eager again. Edits, I think it's condition five, isn't it? No, it isn't. Condition, local, edits, is it three? That's got some space left in it, isn't it, for the hits? Yeah, it has. So. Let's have a look. What is the rectangle to officers' quarters? Um... Officers quarters one is 29, so if hit 29, then go to uh, one, because it's uh, one is the entrance, isn't it? Yes, in 19, and if. Right, let's test it by stack backwards. That didn't work. Oh, is this another one? Okay, edit. Let's just shade 29, make sure we've got the right thing. 29 is a rectangle, so it should work. It is the right rectangle, so it must be slightly too far into the wall. Edit 29. Look at one space this way. Okay. Yep, it works. 
and we've got the issue we had last time where now we're too far in front of it yeah okay wow Dirk Hestron couldn't fit on the on the C64 that's that's a surprise it really is uh, 52, edit of entrance 52, and set it to the new position, otherwise when you come out the door you end up walking into the door again from the other side. Okay, so that's done. Well, it looks like uh, Dirk Hestron won't be coming to the uh, Commodore, but it will be coming to the Spectrum. You'd have to do like a multi-part, multi-episodic thing where you could do one run and then load. And I don't think that's going to work out, man. Right, so let's get back to what we're doing. Okay. So, Captain's Quarters. We're going to uh, create the desk first, because I really want a desk in here with the terminal on. Where are, Where's the cube gone? Oh, for goodness sake. Get the cube. and move it. It's going to be a floating desk so we don't have to put in too many uh, items and faff about that way. Shrink it that way and down, down, down. There's our desk. And stretch across. That looks good. Let's copy that block. Where's it put the damn cube? Where is the damn cube? Cube of the dams. Let's put it on top of that. Let's put it on the roof. Of course it has, because that's where you put a, a, a desk, isn't it? On the roof. Roof desk. It's a fashion item of the next century, you know that. Roof desks. Right, that's as far back as that'll go. Excellent. So what I'm trying to do now is put it underneath. Knock this down. And again. And again. And again. And then couple more and stretch it downwards Java CPC does love to crackle doesn't it okay got one side of a desk okay and copy I step backward nope that is as far as I'll go so that's wonderful There it is, chair leg is up there. Not chair leg, desk leg. Almost done now. We've almost got a desk. There we are. Right. 
Right, we've got the desk in the captain's area. Excellent. So, now we have to create the uh, terminal that goes on top to give the uh, flavor text and the bit of world building that we're doing. So, cube it again. Lots of cubes in this game. Lots of cubes. Right. Oh. Ow. Oh, dear. I think I've been sat wrong. My back is killing me and it's not the best situation ever, but what can you do? So after this, I'm thinking that we'll have a break over the weekend. Because it is, after all, Easter weekend. Then we'll come back with a new game, which I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm kind of considering trying to make a uh, like a racing game or something. But I don't know about that. Is that... How thick is that? Yeah, that's excellent. That's what we want. And put it slightly in the middle of the table. Yeah. Oh, I'm stretching. I'm not moving. <laughs> oh. My goodness. I can't believe I did that. Actually, I can believe I did that. It's easy enough to do. There we are. They're playing chain reaction now. You know what? I have. Um, we need to create another block. A load of game uh, dancing games on the PlayStation 2 and uh, Chain Reaction is one of the ones that keeps coming up on them. Where'd that block go? Where's it put the block? It did just create that cube, didn't it? Yeah, because that's not that uh, one that we just made. I don't know where it's put the, the cube. Where on earth is it? Oh! It's on the other side of the wall. Move it up. How strange. Let's bring this in and down. Oh, don't put it back behind the wall. Come on, we we want the cube this way. No, bring it back. Bring it back this way, you silly, silly program. Come on. Oh, for goodness sake, now it's on the wall. Bring it this way. That's it. I can't believe I haven't coaxed a block into the room. I'm not going to bite block. Come on. Oh, dear. That was just weird. As far back as it'll go. Right, so let's move over there. Oh, wrong button. Okay, here we are. Right, so let's move and move and move. Down one. Nope, that is as far as it'll go. Okay, shrink it, shrink it, shrink it good. Move over to the other side and shrink that side as well. And can we shrink this vertically as well? A little bit more. <sighs> Not sure about that. So that's going to be it. Okay. 
No, don't move it. Say okay, 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 okay. There we are. Um, edit the previous block. So it's 14 and 15 for the terminal. So 14 to 15 is Captain's terminal. Stretch that up one. So that looks about the right size. Okay. I need to shade these so that they stand out. All right, it's 14. We need a red screen so that people know that there's something of importance on it. And the other side can... Top and bottom. We'll do that in a moment. Uh, 13 and 13. And uh, the other side, because it's right against the wall, we can make it invisible. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, that's looking good. Well, kind of. <laughs> Shade this other bit now. Uh, let's go for four. Yeah, Patrick's got a good point there. Why would the C64 version come out with those limitations on how much it can use, how much memory it can have, and things like that? It just seems like uh, they they really just tried to get out on as many things as possible, but it couldn't cope. I'm surprised it couldn't cope. The, the C64 usually has a decent amount of memory, doesn't it? I'd have thought it would have a decent amount of memory. It's a, it's a good machine. It handles well. It should have been all right for it. Right, there's a computer terminal anyway. Okay, message create. Condition, message, edit. So we're on to 34. I'm going to run out of messages here. We must. The Bondax. Run the base. We can't message create condition message edit thirty six. Stop. We can't penetrate. Message create. Messages, um, we go from what, uh, 34? I think it's 34. Yeah, 34. Okay. 
and we go up to 34 to 37. Okay. So, if shot 14 or 15, which is the compound captain's terminal, set the text color to 12, print messages 34, 35, 36, and 37 in order, and uh, then delay for two, uh, for four seconds so people can read it. Let's test that, and also test whether I've got the message right. <laughs> I know what I want to say, I hope and I hope I've said it right. We must evacuate. The Bondax have overrun the base. We can't penetrate the shield around the device. It is part of the Queen. Excellent. There we go. So, when that works out, of course, we can shoot it again. Okay, so now what we need to do is create the bed, and this is just going to be a floating bed. I'm not going to mess about because I want to get on. So let's edit this bed. And put it over on the side. But not too far on the side. I want it to be fairly uh, substantial. I mean, this is the captain, after all. As far back as they'll go. No, it isn't. And stretch. Stretch. So that's a fairly substantial bed. Yep, that'll work. And uh, stretch it out this way. Oh, that's better. I've just cracked my neck back into place. Oh, it's good when that happens. Yeah, that should work. Okay. So we'll save there. We've been going almost an hour and we've only just uh, got through this uh, one room. It's a good point there, uh, Stephen, yeah. You can get a fair amount done in uh, a few K. I mean, we didn't have a massive amount of memory to start with on the CPC. And we've still got 6.6K .6 left. So it's not like uh, you'd eat through it in one uh, screen or something. Let's 
stretch this one out. And push this back. Oh, press the wrong button. <laughs> stretch it all the way at the back there. So we're not going to put a, uh, a terminal in here. I think it's uh, not going to be necessary. It is necessary in the captain's room because that's just told us that uh, the force field that uh, the device surrounds the device is part of the queen. So we've finished this room. Where is my map? We can now tick off the officer's quarters. Ooh. So. We have four rooms left to do. One has a fuel cell in it. Actually, I think we should have something else in here. Let's have a bond deck in here. Because uh, we haven't had a bond deck in a room for a while. So let's have a bond deck that stood uh, in this particular uh, room. Create a pyramid. Edit the pyramid. So 18 to wherever will be the bond deck. They've overrun the base, so clearly one's moved <laughs> moved into the officers' quarters. <laughs> Probably setting up shops like, yes, I'll have this, it's very nice in here. <laughs> Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Why won't oh not again? Turn the damn Bondak over. Come on. There. Oh my goodness. Right. There we go. Bondak. Create a cube. Is it the cube? Creates a pyramid. Edit the pyramid. Do, 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 do. Switch around so that we don't have to do anything else. Oh no, don't shred and stretch it. Ugh. Rink. Instead of moving, I stretched. That's not good. Right, okay, that should work. So let's move across a bit and make sure that uh, everything is lined up. Yes, it is. And just to make it really annoying for this bond deck, I'm going to have the, um, the weak point on the side of... Whoa, what happened there? Create the rectangle. Got to put the weak point on its side, just to be different. So 21 is the uh, weak point. So flip it this way. Yes. Move across. And is that as far back as it'll go? No, it isn't. Where on earth did it place this? Is that far back as it'll go? Yes. Okay. Let's shrink this into place. Doof. Move up. Yeah. Shrink it down. Shrink it down. And shrink it down. Okay, 
So create a sensor and set the attributes for this sensor. It should fire fairly regularly, 255. Okay, yes. Now edit the sensor. Where did it put it is the question. Across. I think we need to move it again and again. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Can this go back any further? Yes, it can. Where is it? Has it? Where's it placed it? How far in front of the Bondak is it? It's not even near it! Oh, come on! It looked like it was in place, and then it moved. So if I turn this way... Where is it? Behind? What the hell? Okay. Right, that's about as good as we're going to get, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so condition local edit. If shot 21, which is the rectangle, so 18 to 22 is the bond deck, then destroy, destroy, um, 18, destroy 19, destroy 20, destroy 21 and destroy 22 then we'll add variables so add that this add 20 points to the score the score is variable 2 and if excellent right condition local create a new one now we need it to fire back condition local edit 3 if timer and if sensed 21 yeah no 22 and if there's 21 which is the weak point then text color 12 print message 1 at 414 Subtract value, uh, say 20 points from 1, and if. Test that. Destroy the enemy with the bond axe. It's taking a fair amount of damage off us now. Yeah, this one's a hard one, so we need to turn around pretty quick. Pretty sharpish. And fire. There we go. And it's not shooting us anymore because it's gone. So, that is done for us. We are finished with the officers' quarters. Now we have uh, four more rooms to do, and it's uh, three o'clock. We're doing pretty good. That was a complex one. Hmm. Oh dear. I'm just going to have a couple of sweeties to power me through. Another control room. A 
computer room and a an observation an observation room I don't know what it'll be observing from the back but uh, there we are so at least we know what they are and I can identify them on the map with the uh, list of information that we got. So we need a new area now. Actually, no. What we need to do is reset entirely and save. Because we've got a fair bit done there, so we need to save. And there it is. So saved. File. Drives. DF0. Save. Grab one more, sweetie, before we start. Right, observation room. This is where it's got the final fuel cell, so area. Add a new area. Let's make this a multi-platform room. Let's make it different. It's going to be an observation room. We're going to have it on multiple floors. Oh, for goodness sake, why did I have to press exit? Create a cube. Edit this cube. Reduce it in size. Uh, but to increase its size uh, and width. And can we stand on this cube? Will it work? Yes, we can. So, let's move it, because I want a uh, set of stairs. Okay. Copy that cube. Hey, that's in a decent place. That's good news. Edit the cube. And uh, that way. Yeah. Okay, and copy the cube. Okay, can we walk up this? Oh, well, that's not aligned, is it? My goodness. Of course. Yeah, that's aligned. What did I just press, for goodness sake? Okay, and uh, edit that one. works. Right, and no, don't create a uh, copy another cube. We're only going to go up a certain height because I don't uh, want it to be too high. We've got uh, other things to do as well, but uh, we'll go with this. I can't go right. Yes. Did yeah right so now we've got uh Got our stairs, so we'll extend this across. It's going to be an observation platform. I don't know what it's going to be observing, but you know, it's there, which is what we want. Right, so as far as the go, excellent. 
Okay, so let's create a cube. Shrink this right down and then extend it to one. Whoa, what happened there? I, I wish I knew what I was doing with those key presses. I, I'd stop doing it. Okay, stretch across to the end. Right, just as far as it'll go. Okay. Uh, create another cube. And now I need to align it just to the other side of what I've just done there. So move it that way. I like to move it, move it. Right, now I won't go any further. So shrink it in. Stretch it one way that way, and one up. Yeah. Now move it across a couple. One, two, and stretch it that way. I'm just ma basically making a barrier. We don't need it to be there, but it'll be nice that we've got like this area, it's just so it looks a bit different, and it's an interesting and memorable room, you know. to here. Create a cube and edit that cube. Uh, so we need to put one as entrance. Eight is barrier door. Because we'll need to be able to turn that on and off again. Just as an interactive thing, just to have something that people can do that doesn't necessarily do anything except world build and uh, make people think, what on earth is this room for? Just what it precisely is for. That should be about where it needs to be, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Stretch up. And stretch across to fill the gap. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. Now I'm going to move that up so I can see where it is. <laughs> yeah, rectangle, edit the rectangle. Shrink it. Shrink it. Push it back. Until... Right, that's as far as I'll go, yeah, excellent. Move that to there. Okay. Area, conditions, local, create. Condition, local, edit, first condition. If, shot, nine, 
or if shot 10 then tog vis 8 to toggle the visibility of that barrier and if there we go works edit and uh, rectangle no wrong one edit the cube bring it back down into place There we go. So the barrier is now there. Go, go, go. Three. And turn around. Create a rectangle. Edit that rectangle. Spin it. Okay, don't spin it then. Bring it up and bring it in. And push it as far back as it'll go. <sighs> oh my goodness. Right. So that's uh, number 10. And if we shoot that, it does the same thing as shooting the other side. So there we go. We're doing all right. Let's shade those so that uh, they're not taking up too much memory. Or at least too much processor time as well. Shade the other one as well. Now they're both the same colour. Right, that's working out. So we need a fuel cell in here, don't we? Yes, we do. Create pyramid. Edit the pyramid. Flip it on its side. And move it back into place. Create a cube. Edit the cube. Right, so we need to get this into place now. So we're doing all right. We're We've finished two floors out of three, and we're almost uh, at the point where the game will work and the rest of it is just putting in the extras. So I think we're doing very nicely today. It's coming along very well. This is a big fuel cell. No, I don't want a cube. Delete the cube. Delete the cube. We don't need a cube. Edit. No, don't edit. Create. I need to create a pyramid. What is wrong with me today? I'm losing focus. It's uh, It's been a long week. There we go. Move backwards. Hey, are we in the right place already? Oh my goodness, I think we are. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, let's shade this cube so that the ends aren't red, so that we can actually see what's going on. 
Uh, we'll put that as 9. Nope, that's the wrong one. We don't see that side. Put it as 9. Okay, now we can see it. So, edit the uh, pyramid again. There we are. Right, so we can shade this now. Uh, Steven says, uh, you can make an object appear to pulse color or shape by creating two objects at the same position with slightly different shade and size and simply tog fizz on the two objects in a local condition. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> that is really cool. Have I just, what, what have I just shaded? No, shade the cube, not the pyramid. Yes. So we need this to look uh, weird again because that's how it is. 14 and uh, 14. Uh, we'll turn, make the ends invisible because we don't ever see them. And 15. Oh, that's 14. 14 always looks like a Christmassy thing to me. It's the red and green that does it. No, not 14, 15. Okay. So, we need a local condition again. Local edit. I'm sure it does this on purpose. It just goes past what I'm trying to do. Condition. Right. If shot. Oh, I can't. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Forgot to put down the uh, info. Uh, 12 is the fuel cell. Condition local edit one. If shot twelve, then text color twelve print. Is it seven for picking up fuel? Yes, it is. Seven for fourteen. Um, add variable 20 points to 2, add 10 points to 3, because 3 is the fuel, yes, yes it is. Uh, destroy 12, and if. Right, there we are. So we, we still can't get out of this room, mind. Uh, that's the one thing we haven't done yet. So let's make some walls. Create a cube. Edit the cube. Oh, apparently uh, when you make the the shimmering, it doesn't uh, affect performance. That's pretty good. We might uh, try some of that. Uh, we could do a, a lava floor. I'm not sure about throbbing bondex, but we actually you never know. We might. Uh, I might give it a try. Right. Uh, one, two, three. Why have it? Oh. Moving instead of uh, stretching. One, two, three. Yeah. Make the doors and the barriers and the walls. Oh, oh. oh dear. <clears throat> stretching all the way. Right, I'm going to take a break at about half past or whenever I finish this run, whichever comes uh, first, to go and grab a drink, but uh, we'll continue afterward. We're getting there. Now, once uh, we've finished this run, we've done all the rooms that have the uh, fuel cells in, we will have fuel cells all over the place then. So we should have enough that we trigger, it when we try it later on, the full game, that we trigger the flavour text that tells us that we've Got enough fuel to escape. Rectangle. Edit the rectangle because this is the doorway out. Stretch it uh, up one and push it to the back. No, don't jump through the wall. Hey, what are we like? 
going to move it over that way just because I don't want it directly in the middle like uh, we often do. I want things to be a little bit different here and there. Okay. And shade the door, which is number 15. Okay. Turn around and uh, area, edit entrance, one, because there is only one entrance, set it to there. Okay. Condition, local, edit, no. Condition, local, create. Condition, local, edit. If hit 15, then go to now this is the question it was area three wasn't it that had the upper floor yeah it is so we don't know what that'll be probably 34 34 in three and if but we'll come back to that in a moment area Go to area three. Area, go to entrance. I'm going to say 24. Does this put us on the top? No, it doesn't. Go to area, no, exit. Go to entrance. It's the third one. Is this on the top floor? No. Reset the game. Right, we're going to go through and test on the way. Just running. We're just, uh, I've got to get to the area in the right place, basically. <laughs> Fire. Yes, I know, Stephen. I've got to save in a moment. I, I just want to get up to the top. I saved um, probably part way through building that room going to this door here so I can work out where the hell we are right there we are we're here now okay that door on the left is the observation room So let's save to this. Hi Anthony, how are you doing? We've already done the, the one on the right hand side here. If we go through the door on the right hand side, it will take us to that room with the uh, flickery lava that we're going to put in later on. Like that. So if we come back out of here, we should be directly facing the door that we need to... Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Go backward one. And two. Yeah. That's the door. This uh, black uh, rectangle is the door that we need to stand in front of. Right. So we turn around. Area. Add. Entrance. Area. Edit entrance. Final one we made. 34. It was 34. 34. Entrance from observation room. Excellent. Condition. Local. Edit. Oh, we can't because I don't know what... Oh, 
we've got all kinds of uh, rectangles set up, but I don't know what they are. Right, so I've got to look at the conditions at local edit. Where's my if hits? So we know that. Uh, The area will be, um, where is it? Radioactive floor is area 7. So, if we have an... Right, so, if hit 13, goes to exit entrance 1 in uh, 7. So, 13 is one of the doorways. So, if we have a look at the shading for... There we are. So we've got a load of rectangles. 13 is the first door. Is this going to be the next door? If I set that to red and then turn around. It's red! Yes, so 14 is the door we need. Shade 14. Fourteen is uh, door. To observation room. Fear my ability to extrapolate from data. <laughs> so we need to change the condition local edit first one here? Yeah. We need if hit 14 now. If hit 14 then Go to entrance one in area 20. And if. There we are. There we are. Here we go. File, save to disk one. Oh. <laughs> File, drives, DF0, save. <sighs> Guys, we've got a mostly pointless room, but it works. It all works. <laughs> oh. So, I'm going to have a quick drink. And then we're going to test the game. I know we've still got a little bit of stuff to do in here, like put some walls around. But... Actually, do we need to? We, I think we don't need to. I think we can leave it as it is. It's kind of implied what's going on. So let's leave it as it is. And reset the game. Then we're going to have a uh, trial run to see whether the computer will detect that uh, we have uh, picked up all the fuel. Mm. Right, let's do it. Play this game. Let's shoot that. I'm gonna kind of speed run this. As much as we can, anyway. And turn. Pick up the first key from back in the other room. So we know that they've created a Martian Madness device. It's the armory key. Step back. Right, the armory is the, down the stairs. So we need to go in there. What the hell? Where on earth? What? Well, that can't be right. What? Where the hell are we? Oh, 
What? I don't even know where we are now. What the hell's going on? We're in area 15. We shouldn't be. Oh dear. I got turned round. I've gone the wrong way. Right, let's try this again. Reset the game. Let's try that again. I went in the wrong room and then got completely confused. <laughs> I keep forgetting that the armory, uh, the doorway down is not in the bottom corner. That was the um, that was the storeroom, the one that has nothing in it, but is there just because we needed something to fill that space. So, yeah. Right, let's go and uh, actually pick up the armory key. Drag the cursor down to there. Bing. Got that. Head back out. Run down there because that door right at the end is where we need to be. The next, the room next to it is the mess hall, which has nothing in it that we need. Open the door. Does that It's kind of a bug. We'll sort that out later. Shoot the bondak. Grab the fuel cell. Got oh, fuel. Right. How do we get into the other room? Security office field. So we need to go in the generator room, which is here, to lower one of the force fields. There's nothing in the generator room. We should probably put a generator in the generator room. <laughs> That's what confused me when we were doing this the first time, isn't it? Yeah, we definitely need to put some stuff in here. Force field lowered. Okay. Um, we do need to get some fuel from the brig, but we can't get into there without getting the key from the storeroom one but we have to get the key to storeroom one from the landing pad second landing pad even so we'll go there next where did we just come out i think we go back down here getting a little turned around that's the storeroom that we need to go in. So we need to get this exit here. There's another bond deck. And it's noticed that we're here. So we'll quickly grab this key.
Can we see the bond deck's uh, weak point from here? We can certainly see us. I'll get the bond deck. We're running a little low on health. So if we see a health pack on our travels, we'll grab it. But we just got the storeroom key. So let's go up here. And open that door. Um, look over this to the right, isn't it? There it is. Did I just miss? Yes, I did. Brick key collected. Turn back round. You could probably use this as a full walkthrough at this point, and <laughs> we've almost finished the game. Now we need to go back down into the uh, depths. Open the brig. Yep. Let's uh, get in the door. Come on, door. Oh, go. Yes. So, if we open the second cell. There's a bondack in there. If we open the first cell, there's nothing. And if we open the third, there's a fuel cell. And there it is. So we're going to leave the bondack. You could go for the bondack if you wanted all the points, but that's not what I'm here for. I am here for that fuel cell. So we've now got two fuel cells out of six. Where is the next one? Uh, we need to go for the lever for the force field and a fuel cell which are in the offices. So we have to go back up the stairs. So if we go up the stairs, doof, 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 doof. And unless we've got turned around, this uh, door on the right here should be the door to where the fuel is. Yes, it is. There's the fuel. Fuel cell collected. We also need to lower a force field in this next room here. Which will mean we have to fight a bond deck. We've come in from the back of the bond deck, so let's quickly get around it. It's going to take our health a fair bit while we get around here as well. Because it's a bit annoying from the angle that we've come in. We should have come in the other door, we'd have been facing directly onto it. And this is the one that teaches us that bond decks can have multiple uh, weak points. Fight. And fire. There we are. There is a health. We will grab the health to make us healthy. And we will also shoot this down to turn off another one of the uh, force fields. Force field lowered. Okay, where is another fuel tank? There's a fuel tank in the barracks. Got all of them. Yeah, there's a fuel tank in the barracks. That will give us... Uh... Have we got three so far? I think we have. So let's head out that door there because that's uh, going to get us back out onto the main area where we can just head over to the barracks, which is next door down. So we turn left, there it is, that's the barracks door. Let's 
No Bondak in here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, just the fuel tank. Fire, fire, fuel cell collected. Now we have four of them. And now we go upstairs because we've got the first two force fields down, but we need the third. And we also need to pick up that fuel cell as well. Yeah. Go in here and we have to go through this uh, door that you can't see. We could walk over the observation thing, but unless you know that you can fire on these to open the door, you won't get back out. <laughs> Although you can open it from the other side, I suppose, so we could have gone that way. Fire. That makes uh, five. Because the sixth one is with the Bondak Queen. So we're doing all right with this. Now we need to go in here and drop the third force field. Fire. And fire that again. Force field lowered. Go back across the bridge. And down. Now we can get to the final doors. Oops, I've gone back through. The final doors. That door there on the left is where the uh, Martian Madness will be. The door, the far door on the right is uh, the computer room that we haven't built yet, which means we've only got two rooms left to do. We are almost done. And in here is the Bondak Queen and the final fuel cell. Fire at the Bondak Queen. Got the first thing. Right the way down, right the way down. Now, if I get this correct, she won't have time to kill us because uh, we'll get to the uh, power cell in time. But we've got to be careful because the second uh, weak spot is slightly hidden on purpose. You've got to know to be able to look up and down. Which, to be fair, you would uh, probably have learned how to do because it is on screen telling you how to do it. And it will be when I make the uh, full version of the uh, thing as well, the uh, game's own uh, main screen. Come on, run, 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 run! This area is a bit iffy, isn't it? Where is her final weak point? There it is. The Bondak Queen is about to die. Okay, we've committed alien regicide. <laughs> and saved Mars from the Martian Madness. Oops, I jumped off. Never mind. It won't matter. Okay, the final fuel. Sufficient fuel gathered! Yes! 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 <laughs> it's just going to leave that on the screen. That's annoying. Oh, no, we can't have that. Yeah, we... Yeah, okay, so we know that that works. We set the game. Okay, so we need to change the general conditions. No, not local. Don't create either. Don't want to create. Condition, local. Delete. 
the fifth condition. I'm just quickly checking now that all of these conditions are the ones that I wanted to keep because otherwise we'd have had to load again. Yeah, everything's in here. That's okay. Right. Condition general. Edit the second one. 17 is sufficient. Uh, yeah. equal then I'm just quickly trying to, st to sort something out. If equal, then text color 12. Okay, uh, delay 100. Add variable 1 point to 3. Else, end, and if. Okay. I've just changed the variable so it only sends that message if the uh, if you were, your your fuel level is exactly sixty. If it's under or over, it doesn't send that message. It won't stay on the screen. So, file, save. No, not to tape. File, file, save to disk one. File, drives, df0, save. So, this should work out now. This is crackling because... Uh, why is it crackling? I just don't get it. Why, why is it crackling? Who knows? Okay, so... We know it will work. And we'll test it again after we've sorted everything out. We have three left to do. We have three uh, rooms left to do. We're going to do the source of the Martian madness first. So, area. Oh, I'm not. Area. Go to area. I think it's five, isn't it, for the uh, stairs and things? Nope. Area. Go to area two. Let's have a look around. We need to go through that door there. And we get into the right place. Give me the door. Where is the door? What the hell? Go through the door. Silly computer. Right. We're now in the right place. So. We know that those two doors are all set. We can set the attributes to get rid of the the uh, force fields from here. What are the force field attributes? Which area are we in? Where am I? What am I doing and how? <laughs> area three. We are in area three. Okay. Um, force fields are 20, 21 and 22. So attributes of 20, 21 and 22. going to turn them invisible because we don't need them right now attributes Put it. 
Right, now we can work on these entrances. So, we don't have... Oh, for goodness sake, why am I doing it this way? We don't have an entrance for the computer room. We don't... We just don't have one. So, we'll do that one first. Uh, well... Uh, that's the control room. So, we need an exit for the control room. Area... Add... Entrance. Area... Edit entrance. What's the entrance number? 35. 35 is entrance to control room. We're doing this uh, quick and dirty, essentially, but it will do fine the, this way. That is the uh, room that's got the Martian Madness in it. Area, add entrance. So that is 36. And last but not least, we need, oops, what the hell, we need that one there, which is the uh, computer room. Where's the damn door gone? There it is. <laughs> Didn't seem like we were going to get the door there, did it? Okay, so turn it around and uh, add that entrance. So now we we know everything is there. That'll be thirty-seven. Entrance from computer room. Right, we've got all that. Stephen says, how about shrinking the top and bottom of the force fields by a few units so you can see that there is something behind it? Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think you're absolutely right. We could do that. I think we might do that, yeah. So, let's go grab a sweetie. And I've got to work out what the colours for... What what the uh, doors are for the um the doorways we need. Hmm. Okay, we need that's uh. 14. Is this control room door going to be six, 15? Shade rectangle 15. Yes, 15 is the control room door. Excellent, so that's a, an easy way to sort that. Okay, and shade, so 16 should be the Martian Madness door, yes. means I think 17 will be uh, the Bondat Queen door. 
Now, 17 is the computer room door. I wish it would stop uh, crackling like that. Right, we know what all the doors are now. That is excellent. So. Okay. What the? Really didn't like that, did it? So, I'm going to now um, attribute, set the attributes for the uh, force fields again, but we're not going to do in the opposite direction. Um, force field 3 first, so that uh, we can uh, make it visible again. Not destroy, visible. And then we can edit it. Yeah. Okay, so we can see behind it. I should be for twenty for the uh fossil two twenty one. And 22 will be the last but not least. Which is, uh, yeah, Force Field 1. Okay, and uh, edit that one as well. No, not a rectangle, not rectangle, no, 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 don't change any of the rectangles. I hate it when it jumps past. Edit uh, 22, because that is force field one. Yeah, you can, uh, you, it's a good idea. Stephen, you had a great idea there. You can see that there's things behind now. Oh, 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 oh. Message create condition message edit thirty eight a force field is in the way condition local edit at the first condition because that's just the if hits and we don't no we do need to add more to that so we won't put any more in there condition local create edit sixth condition if hit 20 or if hit 21 or if hit 22 then text color 12 print 38 no 38 oh, for goodness sake 38 for 14 delay uh, 25 and if Walk into that. Yeah. Force field is in the way. Right, we can use that in the next room as well. So, reset everything and uh, file, save, disk, file number one. Right, we are now getting somewhere, guys. save. One of our earlier messages contains only spaces. 
Oh, yeah, there is. There's a one that I thought I'd need to blank things off with, isn't there? Yeah, we'll come back to that. We'll probably need to use that in a minute. Right. It's uh, five to four. We've been going almost two hours. We've got not a lot left to do. Three rooms and then uh, we can start uh, really getting to the end of this. We'll probably end up putting a fourth room in for inside the spaceship though. So I'm going to take a quick break and go and make sure that my uh, rather ill and old cat is okay. I'll be back in five minutes. Uh, tea break everyone and then we'll get the rest of this game done. See you in a minute. Oh, ah, oh. oh dear.
Right, uh, welcome back. So, what were we doing? <laughs> we were working on the uh, final bits. So, we've got... Uh, we're now going to do the Martian Madness room. So that's uh, area 21. So I'm going to make this a fairly substantial area. And uh, there's going to be a massive barrier that prevents you getting to the Martian Madness. So we will need to create a new area. Let's create the back wall first because we need to make sure that uh, We've got an entrance in and out. Oh my goodness. Today is warm. It's a, it's a nice uh, Easter weekend. It's a shame we're all stuck inside, isn't it? I might go and sit in the garden after this, even though by the time we're finished, it'll probably be getting a bit colder out there. Still. I'll be able to enjoy a game over the Easter weekend. So cheers to that. I've no idea what these tunes are that I keep making up and just uh, kind of humming. Stretch this up. One, two, three, four. What if I just drive him past on a really, really loud bike? Create the rectangle. That's our doorway. So the doorway is number three. Stretch it up one so it's the right height. Then move it backward to fit on the wall. No, don't move through the wall. Keep it on the wall as much as we can. Yeah. Okay. Shade that. And uh, one and one. And in uh, visible ball. Oof. Okay. Turn around and uh, edit the entrance to make it sit in the right place. Okay, so now we can sort out the conditions for getting in and out of here. Condition. Local. No, don't create a second one. Actually, leave it there. It'll be all right. We'll need that in a minute. Local condition. If hit three, yes, then go to and uh, the entrance we want is 36 in area three. And Goes through there. So, conditions uh, in here we need to edit now. It'll be condition six. We'll add it to the end of this. If hit, and which one is the Martian Madness door here? Uh, 16. Then go to entrance one in area 21. And if. And here we are. So that's working out. 
Now I'm going to copy the cube so I don't have to keep faffing about with the heights. Edit this cube and we'll put it over to the other end. Far, far back. Is that as far as I'll go? No, it's not. There it is. Okay. Copy it again. We'll make the other walls. And now this one we need to shrink in a little bit. Shrink up a lot. And another one. And another one. So now that should turn. No, it doesn't. I shrink it down. Oh well. It was a good idea while it lasted. So actually, just stretch it right over to the edge. Yep, that's as far as I'll go. And just keep going with that until it gets to the right point. and stretch it out. Now we can copy this one as well and that'll be the right height. Now there's two of them on back. There are three of them. They're racing each other. They're supposed to be on lockdown. They're distributing germs at high speed. So we've almost got this room built. It's a very simple way of building a room this. But it will work. Can we copy areas? That would be interesting if we could. No, we can't, can we? It would have made it nice if we could. Is this, uh... Yes, that is as far as it can go. Welcome back, Patrick. Nice to know that I'm uh, so uh, interesting that <laughs> everyone can stay awake. I am, of course, joking. Everyone knows that... Uh, it if you have to sleep, you have to sleep. Right, is this... It must be behind us. Right, let's bring this through then. Push it that way. Oh, there it is, right. So we're pushing this across and we already know it's the right height and the right width to be put in this place. So we've just got to move it across a little bit and that should drop down. If only build the house was this easy. Build one wall and copy and paste it to get more walls. There we are, right. That's the source of the Martian madness. So, we're now going to create the Martian Madness, and it's going to be um, odd looking. So I want, a, I want a cube. Not a cube, a pyramid. I'm going to edit this pyramid. No, not the cube, don't edit the cube. Edit the pyramid. So we start with seven. We don't know how far we're going to go to make it the Martian Madness. I'm going to need to shoot a few uh, weak points as well to make it uh, fully destroy.
Right, so there's the first part of the Martian Madness. And uh, we'll copy that. And then we'll copy it again. Edit this one. Move it up. I don't know what it's going to look like yet. It's going to look weird. A bit like the Bondi Queen was just weird, you know? Create a cube. Edit this cube. Shrink it that way. And shrink it that way. Right, that's kind of in the right place. We're now going to shade this because I want it to look weird. Zero, uh, four. Oh, no, 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 no. And four. And three. And three. Okay. Edit that cube. Where is it? What are its positions? 84, 9, 74. Okay. Copy that cube. and edit that cube. We're going to try Stephen's uh, flashing idea. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> 84, 9. So it's on the right thing, it just needs to be moved. Okay, so attributes of... Uh, 10. Invisible. Edit. No, not load. Not load. Not load. Edit 11. Condition, local, edit, two. If this in this ten, this eleven, in this eleven, this ten. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't...
Oh, that's a oh my goodness, that's a severe performance drop. Oh my goodness, I can't even move the, th the keys. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. Right, delete that. Oh my goodness, that, that slowed it down something rotten. Edit. If timer and if fizz 10. And then fizz 10 fizz 11. And if, if timer and fizz 11. And if fizz 11. If viz 11, then it'll it'll be s oh of course yeah tog fizz okay let's do that tog fizz will do everything tog fizz 10 tog fizz 11 and attributes change the attribute it is slowing down the it is slowing down the performance that wow try to change change the damn I need to ch ah that's not good initial invisible okay right, go back to here area go to area 21 general test okay that actually seems to work that's good It is slower. In fact, it's a fair amount slower, but uh, it will work. Yeah, Stephen, that, that works out all right. <laughs> now I just need to keep making it work. And keep going. Right, so we've got part of the Martian Madness. Not finished yet, though. Right, I've just uh, deleted that condition. We'll come back to that when the rest's done because it's slowing me down something rotten while we're trying to build. But we'll put that in again in a minute. I really should stop eating the uh, sweeties. It's hurt my throat. Something rotten at the moment. But they are giving me the sugar rush to keep going. So it's like uh, six of one and half a dozen of the other, isn't it? Right. So that's the second part of the Martian Madness. We need to now create a cube. 
which is almost in the right place again. Edit the cube. I'll switch this one around a bit so I can actually see it. Shrink. Shrink. Well, that didn't work. Whoops. And stretch it up. Can it go any further? No, it can't. Okay. And that is at which position? Uh, 45,952. So we'll shade this one as well. Invisible and uh, invisible and four and four. Right, okay. Now we uh, copy that cube. And uh, change the attributes on the original one to current uh, invisible and initial invisible. Now, where is the <laughs> the cube that we just made? Where is it? It's above us, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, for goodness sake, where where above? It's behind us. Bring it down. Oh, come on, where is it? There it is. Come on down, we kind of need you. So I need it to be at uh, 52. Well, that's nine, so it's kind of got that in the right place. 52, yeah. 9 and 52, and then across to 45. Forty-five, nine, fifty-two, And toggle it around so that it'll change. Whoa! I didn't realize it was that thick. Right, uh, okay, um, delete that. Attributes, cube, make it visible. Why is it so big? I forgot to change the size on the other side. Of course I did. It's nowhere near where it's supposed to be. Oh, I was trying to cut corners and it didn't work. Step it backward. Yeah. That's better. 45,963. 63. Copy that cube. And uh, attributes of the original one. Again, I've got to sort this out. Current, invisible. And attributes of the new one. Current will be 
are visible and initial will be visible. Okay. Actually, can we just yeah set the set the position? No, we can't. Oh, that's a shame. We can't just set the position. That'd be that would have been nice, but never mind. Cube. And we need to bring it to 45. 45, 9, 63. There we are. Okay. Just make sure the attributes on the other one are right. And current invisible, initial visible. And current visible, initial invisible. Excellent. Save to disk, number one. File, drive, df0, save. Now for the final thing that we need to do for the Martian Madness machine. Create Pyramid Edit Pyramid Shrink it down Create a pyramid and edit that pyramid. <laughs> Stephen says uh, it's madness that uh, they didn't include the ability to just enter the coordinates you want the pyramids at. Is it Martian madness? Because <laughs> Dirk Headstrong has a solution for that. Edit. No, we don't want to edit that cube. I want to set the attributes for. No, we don't want to set the attributes for that, do I? I want to shade that cube. That's what I'm trying to do. Pyramid. Um, let's do 15. 15. 10. I don't even know which ones it is. Ten, uh, the top or the bottom. Uh, nine and nine. Right. Actually shade the front of that pyramid. Four. No? How about four for this one? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Um, edit. So what's that go up to? Edit. That is 16. So 7 to 16 is the Martian Madness. Create a condition. Edit. If shot C 
16. Then text call 12. Print 40. 414. Destroy 7. Destroy 8. Destroy 9. Destroy 10. Destroy 11. I feel like a Sesame Street character. The count, count destroy. Destroy tw 12. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> destroy 13 blocks. Ho, 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 ho. And all that. Destroy 14. 15. And destroy 16. Add value 100 to score, which is variable 2. And if Oh, so we only got the, the We're only up to thirty nine. Huh. Stephen, you're quite right. Let's have a look and see if that works. Uh, change the text uh, color. General condition. Edit uh, condition two, is it? Yeah. We don't know why it didn't work either. Let's put text called 12 again. So, uh, 39, 14, 41 we just did. Okay, thirty nine, forty, and forty one. File, save, disk one. Right, we now have the Martian Madness machine working. <laughs> File, drives, DF naught, save. So, oh my goodness, my back is killing me. Gonna have a quick sweetie and then rest. If you're having to trim the uh, messages, you could always just uh, take out the destroy the enemy, the bond. They don't have to shout anything. We now have to create another cube because this will be the the force field, 20. 
Really? 17. Why am I saying 20? 17. Force field. Every byte helps. You know, Patrick, you're quite right. It's like the Tesco of coding, isn't it? <laughs> Every byte helps. Oh, oh. Stretch this right across the room because we need a massive, massive force field. Uh, Patrick says, uh, does making unseen parts of objects invisible help? Uh, it helps with memory, uh, for, not memory, uh, running, it, uh, helps with processor. I don't think it helps with the memory. Is that as far as that will go there? Yeah. Stretch. Wow, it's really slowing down, I don't know why. Hopefully the... You guys have still seen everything move all right, and uh, I'm not looking like I'm starting to uh, go all jittery. Still going, still going, making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Is that as far as it'll go? Yes, it is. So I'm going to move this. Oh, no, it isn't. 24, 25. How big is this thing going to get? There. So we're going to move it up a couple because you can't see from underneath the thing. Yeah. I'm going to just move it up a little bit so you kind of get the idea of what's there. And shade this cube, 17. So we need uh, this side to be uh, 15. 15. Let's say uh, 9 for that. 9 for that, just in case you see them somehow. Uh, 0. And zero. Uh, yeah, Stephen's right. Performance is key. Absolutely, dootly. Jen hates it when I make up silly words like that. <laughs> so we can see that behind it, but we can't get past the force field. So let's make sure that we can't do that. Let's edit the condition. 30. If hit 17 then text color 12 print 38 no not 28 print 38 for 14 and if Oh, Stephen, that's a good idea. Mutually exclusive rooms, you could make things invisible. That would... yeah. Yeah, we could try that. Right, now we get the force fielders in the way. So, we have now... Completed everything in this room. Yeah, it's all working. So, that's uh, another room uh, sorted out. Uh, so we can add in the uh, thing to toggle those uh, bits now. So, what are our... The cubes are 10, 11, 13 and 14. Okay. 
can do it like that. And uh, condition local create. Condition local edit. Tog viz 10. Tog viz 11. Tog viz 12. No, not 12. Tog viz 13. Tog viz 14. Okay, they're now flashing, aren't they? Yeah, they're flashing now. But I can't move over to edit. I can't move over to edit. Edit, edit. And for edit 14. <laughs> now they're working. Now they're working. Uh, <coughs> I forgot to turn one of them. So we jump out of this room and we should be okay now, shouldn't we? Because it's not. Yeah, if we're not in that room, that's uh, it's all right for everything that we're doing. Okay, so file, save to disk, so we don't have to go back in there. File, drives, df0, save. So now we're going to do something in here that I've been waiting on being able to do for quite a... Oh, now don't bring up the on-screen keyboard. I don't need the on-screen keyboard. Give me a minute, you horrible machine that is trying too hard to be helpful. <coughs> right, create. Edit uh, rectangle. Stephen, it seems to be okay as long as I don't go back in the room, but we've finished in that room, so we should be okay. Uh, turn and uh, down. As far back as that'll go. Excellent. So shrink, shrink, move to one side and reduce the size a bit. Okay. Shade that because that is the door into the spaceship. And this is what. Uh, I didn't do earlier because I was thinking we might not end up doing it. Okay. Edit. It is uh, 27. So where is area 1? 27. Door into ship. So 29 will be entrance from ship. Because uh, 28 is going to be a pyramid, which will actually, no, it'll be a floating cube, because that is going to be our way of getting into the ship. Shouldn't the spaceship have a second? Uh, you and your one thinks to have logic. We want things to make sense next. I don't do sense. <laughs> what am I talking about? What 
things to make sense and be logical and ships not to fall over. <laughs> this is space and sci-fi. <laughs> Oh, good grief, there's six moronic children outside now. All in a group, all just standing around, catching the virus. What's wrong with the computer? What? What? I don't. I didn't think there was a problem with the computer. Right. There we are, that's the the step. I don't see the problem with the computer, Patrick. It seems fine. Oh, I do see the problem with the computer. Edits, uh, what was it for the computer? What was it? 25 and 26, so it'll be, uh, 25 will be the issue, won't it? Stretch it down one. Stretch it up one. Stretch it down one. Add it twenty six. Seems fine to me. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yeah. There we are. You happy now? Looks all right now. So. Uh, let's go back and uh, check on okay um, edit the rectangle let's make it a bit taller so we can actually see it when we climb up oh my goodness no <laughs> Right, okay, there we are. We've now got uh, a couple of uh, steps. And they're floating. Don't ask why they're floating. Don't... It's a spaceship. <laughs> it, it can have floating steps.
add entrance. The entrance uh, is therefore 30. Condition one. No, I want the if hit from uh, the other one. Condition local. Edit two. If hit twenty seven and if uh, viz, what was the Martian madness? Uh, Let's say 15, 16 in uh, 21, then text color 12, print thirty-two for 14, and if, if there's uh, sorry, if hit twenty seven and no, then go to one and twenty two and if. Print 32, conditions, message, edit. So it would be 42, not 32. Anthony says I think he thinks we should do some uh, programs on the PlayStation 2. Love to. That would be really cool. Forty-two, four fourteen. I'm not sure my Mac could emulate a PS2 well enough to actually program it, but we could give it a try. I'd have to learn C, wouldn't I? Message 42. I can't leave. Yet, I have to stop condition message create condition message edit the Martian Madness machine. Each machine. Right. And um, condition local. Add it to because we need an extra one now. Okay, that should work. Uh, general test. Oh, oh no. Damn, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. And if there's, um, we're going to put an extra block somewhere. Um, where can we put an extra block that it won't be seen or affect anything? It's got to be 
one of those rooms, yeah, one of those rooms that uh, has an extra area. Uh, area six, isn't it? The, where we haven't got much in there. Yeah, area six. Uh, area, go to area six. We're going to put a, a block somewhere that you can't see it. Hi, Mickey Smith. How are you doing? I'm glad you're enjoying it. We're going to cr uh, create a rectangle. Where is the rectangle? Where have I put the rectangle? Stephen says we can use variables or we can use blocks. Yeah, I just want to quickly do this, and we're going to use a we're going to use a rectangle. There it is. There's the rectangle. Right, edit. No, don't create. Edit this rectangle. We're going to put it on this wall where it won't be any problem to anyone because it won't ever get seen. As far back as it'll go. Okay. Shade. Rectangle 13, area 6. Rectangle 13. Uh, shade that side invisible and shade this side 6. Ta-da! It's not there now. Attributes of uh, Rectangle 13. Current invisible, initial invisible. Okay. Area. Go to area 21. Condition local edit second one. It's one where we destroy everything. Viz thirteen in six. Going back to here, and uh, conditions, local, edit, is it 2? Yeah. If hit 27, and uh, if uh, viz 13 in 6, then we go through the door. File, no, not file, general, test. We should not walk through this door now, because we won't have set the flag for the thingamajig. For that special test prim. Now put it somewhere out of the way that uh, won't impact much anyway. Can't leave yet, I have to stop the Martian Madness machine. There we go, it's all done. So, if we destroy the Martian Madness machine, we can get into the ship, which is what we'll need to do to get to the next stage where we can uh, check that we've got any fuel. And we will do that in a moment. Because Patrick wants me to put another thing down there, doesn't he? Another... Ra um, what's the word? Uh, pyramid.
edit which pyramid 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 22 isn't it if i move this pyramid what to do that's the one okay so it's at uh fifth Okay, so it's at 50. Okay, so I need to make sure that's on the right line, 50. So 58, 54, 50. Right, that will now line up because it's on the same uh, horizontal, um, vertical, whatever, same depth line. Okay, 51, 58. So it's the one. It's the one above it, the uh, pylon, or is that the one below it? Let's uh, move well, this cube and see what happens. It's that one, right? So it's object twenty-three. Okay. Just want to make it the right size. You see, by copying that one, Steve says, "I think I've caught the three D construction kit bug." I've always liked 3D Construction Kit. I had a copy when I was a kid, and I was terrible at using it <laughs> because I had no patience. So I only made like single room uh, demos of things. 5158. Let's move this back. 50. 50. No, 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 no. Move up one because we won't be able to get into place without going there. Where is the. Stand it on top. Oof, oh, missed it, missed it. There we are. That should be in the right place now. It's not. Not by a long shot. So if I bring it forward at one... Will that do it? No. There. There we go. Patrick says, have I thought about doing a 3D construction kit recreation of one part of Jenny's train layout and doing a game around that? Be interesting, wouldn't it? We might try that. I'm just opening a, a can of whoop ass as a as I call it. You know when the Daily Mail copied part of one of my vlogs uh, for a report, they uh, bleeped out ass like they had standards about swearing and saying ass. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Like, who bleeps ass? Ass 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 ass. <laughs> Padre said, don't make Jenny the villain. To be honest with you, Jenny would want to be the hero. And uh, she'd probably say, I should be the villain. Like, uh, we're yard, revenge of the cupboard monkey, something like that. Okay, so, um, we need to go into the ship, don't we? What's the condition? Did I already put that in? Local, edit, um, condition two. Go to one of 22, so yes. Area 22, therefore, has to be the inside the ship. Uh, add area 22. Create a cube. Edit that cube. Shrink it down a little bit. Yeah. Stretch it out. Do, 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 do. Okay. Great. This is going to be quick and simple. Edit the cube. Yeah. Let's 
stretch it this way. Be a long, thin spaceship, and it doesn't really matter how thick that is because it's not going to be seen on the outside. So we could have used in here as a as a uh, key toggle area, but we didn't. <coughs> Stretch that out. One more jump on that side. Yeah. Okay. And copy that cube because I can't be bothered doing it again. Edit that cube. Doof, doof, doof. As far back as I got, yeah. And one more, one more, one more. Yeah, that should get past it. It doesn't. Huh. One, one more, and go past. Yes, excellent. Right. Making the ship quick now. Just in the middle, create one more cube. And edit that cube. it up and up again and move it backwards yeah right we've got plenty of space now <laughs> and create rectangle edit that bring it a bit forward so that it will fit when we turn it shove it on the wall door it looks a little bit bigger on the inside <laughs> but never mind this is getting a bit rough and ready but never mind shade the door uh, rectangle invisible on that side invisible on that side okay And turn it round. Area. Edit entrance. One. Uh, set. Okay. 22. Six is door condition local edit oh, for goodness sake. condition local create because I don't have to create it before I can edit it condition local edit one if hit six then go go to not goo go to <laughs> <laughs> area one, where's the area one? Um, 30 and one. And if. And we're up on the stairs. Excellent. Area, go to area 22. Uh, area, go to entrance one. Area, color area. Oh, that's cool. We've got a weird color for the inside of the ship. Yeah. 
Yeah. We've got a cool color for the inside of the ship. Create a rectangle. Edit the rectangle. I think that's on the edge of it, yeah. So stretch that across and there is our windshield. Hang on. Bring a forward one. And stretch it again because I think it went right past there. It wasn't actually in the ship. Yeah, it's not in the ship, is it? It's about as far close on as it can get, though. Yeah, okay. Stretch it down one and stretch it that way as well, just to make sure. Okay. Steve says, will you be editing the border graphics? Uh, yes. I'm planning to load an entirely new border graphics. So that doesn't say the 3D kit game. It actually says Dirk Headstrong and the Martian Madness. Let's move this up going to be the roof. We're going to have a purple roof because Dirk Headstrong has no fashion sense. <laughs> he may be a hero to some, but he's not a hero to the fashion industry. And stretch it that way as well, so it covers the back. Then we have our nice little self-contained spaceship. Where is this? There it is. Stretch it that way. Come on. Yep, there we are. Yep, that's working out very, very nicely. Okay. Right. There we are. Now we do is do the final bits. Create a pyramid. Delete the pyramid. Just realize I can't do anything with the the roof on because we can't get anything into this room unless I'm very very careful create the pyramid there it is edit the pyramid
yep, Steve, you've got a, a nice idea there, but I've already designed the uh, thing. I know exactly what I want it to look like, and it's got a kind of uh, metallic look, a you know, futuristic type of thing. So that's what I'm going for. Right, there is, there's our launch button. Oh, we've got some interesting colours to choose from this time. I've made it atrocious. It's like an assault on the eyes. It's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> that looks terrible, but it's so funny. Right, uh, so we now need to put in, like, a... We'll put a, a control thing in, but that's our, our button. And that is uh, nine for the takeoff. Condition, message, create. Condition, message, edit. 44. I can't leave yet. I need fuel. Condition, local, create. Condition. Condition, local, edit. Compare variable. Um, where is my manual compare variable? Do, 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 with absolute value, value P1 with variable 2. Okay, compare var 63, 3 is the fuel, yes. If shot 9 and equal Is it if equal? If equal. Then text call twelve print. Um, I'll be I don't forty four four fourteen. game else text call 12 print 43 414 and if it is end game isn't it just I just looked at it, it should be end game condition Local. No, don't create more local conditions. I'm trying to get to message. Edit. 44 was the message for uh, not being able to leave yet. Condition. Local. Edit. Second one. No, no. Three, two. Why do you keep jumping past? Edit. 44. So. That'll be 45. And that would be 44.
45 is the one for completing the game. Yeah, 45. Condition, message, create. Edit, 45. Spell well done properly. <laughs> Go on, get to the end. Come on. I can't leave yet, I need fuel. And that's just gonna keep coming up. Stephen, you're right. Not sure whether the if shot command will impact the flag used by if equal. I know what we can do. Go to area one. By go and uh, stand in the corner that we're not using for this area, and then jump to area twenty-two. I will be outside the uh, spaceship area. Go to area twenty-two. Now I am outside the spaceship. <laughs> wow, it's gaudy out here. Create a cube. <clears throat> Attributes of this cube are that it starts off invisible. Okay. General conditions. Edit condition 2. Compare variable 63. If equal, then play, do all of that. And uh, visible 10 in 22. Because that's object 10, isn't it? Yeah. So now condition local edit 2. Delete that and delete that. And if viz 10 in 22, which is that one, then else. Test. Continuously says that. Damn it. So still not working. Condition, local, edit. Then, if shot nine, then else. And we're going to do this the weird way, but it should work. Try that. Just to stop it from uh, automatically testing it. Right, it's now. It's now not doing anything. Gets around all of that. So, uh, go to entrance one. Test. 
test it, general test. Shoot that. Take off because it was visible. So, um, right. Condition area. Go to area twenty two. And attributes of ten. It should now be invisible, shouldn't it? It is currently invisible. So, general test. Stephen says we shouldn't need the extra if shot. Oh, we'll check that in a minute. I can't leave yet, I need fuel. So it works both ways. It works both times. Conditions, local, edit, two. Text color, print that, delay, 50. Delay 200, because I want to have a bit more time. So that should work. No, that should be delay 200. <laughs> I've got them the wrong way around. 200. And this one should be delay 50, because we haven't got as much to say. Actually, let's do one. 100. Give people time. I'm going to leave the extra if shot in because it's working for the moment, uh, Stephen. Just uh, make sure that we don't mess everything up. Right, let's try that again. Can't leave yet. I need fuel. Attributes of 10. Make it visible. Area. No, not area. Test. Take off for Earth. Well done. We did it. <clears throat> we did it. It's 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 done. Aside from those two extra rooms. The game works. The game, the game is running. It works. Guys, we've made a game. We've actually made a game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> File, save, save this baby. Save to disk one. <coughs> We haven't area. We haven't finished yet. We haven't even finished the conditions that will make things work. The force field won't come down. Where's the uh, Bondi Queen? Eight. Go to area eight. I wish I would stop crackling. I'm getting sick of the crackles. I'm deaf and it's annoying me. Right, Bonda Queen. Uh, conditions for local conditions. Edit uh, two. No. Conditions. Uh, local conditions. Edit. No! Don't delete! Don't delete anything! Conditions. <laughs> local. Edit uh, three. This is it. Right, destroy and. Uh, Destroy 17 in area 21. Text color 12. Uh, Stephen says, uh, shading all sides of the flag cube to invisible would remove performance impact. Um, all right, I'll try that, yeah. Even though the first thing they flag it does is uh, make it invisible. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, text color 12. Print. I think it's 45 we can use now. 414. Delay. 200. 
45. Is it message 45 we can use? Condition, message, create. It's 46, I'll, so we'll change that in a bit. Yeah, it starts off visible and then immediately turns invisible to to start stuff out. <laughs> oh no, the uh, cube, the the cube in the, at the end. I will uh, change the flag cube to invisible. Yes. Ah. 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 <laughs> we go. Condition, messages, uh, edit. So it's 45 and 40. No, it's 46 and 47. That's what we're using. And we that is the final stuff that we can use here. Oof. Oh, don't delete conditions. Condition, local, edit uh, three, isn't it? Yes. So we'll change that to 47. We will have um, print 47, 4, 12, print 46, 4, 13, and 47, 4, 14. Uh, Stephen, if it is, then I will use that uh, later on. Condition local edits. Uh, no, exit. We're going to test this now, test that when we shoot the Bondak Queen, she will actually die. And make that noise. Move. Can't move. Arm oh, stuck inside. Right, okay. Area. Go to entrance one. We're going to shoot the Bondak Queen before we... Uh, go any further and then shoot her again to get down to the third and final of the thingamajigs. Turn around. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. What the hell? Doesn't want us to do this, does it? Test. Fire. Yes. Wow, this is uh, a bit slow. We're really running out of memory now. <laughs> We're making this too hard on ourselves. Come on, come on, further down, further down, further down. Get to the final shot, get to the final shot before she kills us. There it is, the final shot. Get it, get it, get the final shot. Ah, the Bondax cannot be stopped. Ah. <laughs> it works, it all works. <laughs> Which means that uh, if we now go to area 21, there shouldn't be a force field. No force field, it's gone. Ah, oh, yes. That is brilliant. Excellent. Reset, reset, reset. 
Uh, Steve says, uh, be careful creating more messages as I don't know whether 3D construction kit might crash. It does crash in some cases when you do something that you shouldn't. At least the C64 was susceptible to crashes. I've never had a crash on the CPC, but I don't want to cr make a crash. So I'm getting very wary of how much else we can add in. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm as worried as you are. Save to disk one. Okay, it's half past five. We've now been going for three and a half hours and we are almost finished. I believe we have uh, two rooms left to do, a control room and a computer room, and there's nothing in either, but we're going to put some Bondax in. So, we've got 5.2k left, plenty of space. We're going to add an area, and this one is going to be the control room, which is going to have bugger all in it. Oh, hang on. First of all, we want to go to area 22, don't we? Go to area 22. Because we're going to shade that control cube. We don't need it to, to see it, so we're going to make everything invisible. While we're here, we might as well work on the other stuff that we've got. So let's shade everything that we've got to make this place really run fast. Right, we don't see any on the, uh, of the uh, green bits on the sides of uh, the first uh, cube that we put in. No, we need that one. Eight, because that's the top. Right. And I'm going to assume that that's... The... Yes, so we only need those two sides. Oh, shade of... Uh, I think this is the side cube on the side. And of course I go for the wrong bit. Ten, zero. Every other bit we can't see. So we're snazzing this up. And just to make sure that we are actually dealing with the one on the right hand side, let's turn that invisible. There it's gone. So 10. That's what we need. Okay. This run will be so fast now. Right, which one's this? I think it's the one behind us. So we're going to quickly do a test by turning that purple invisible. And that purple invisible, that should disappear now. Yeah, so that's six. Everything else we don't need because we can't see it. Shade, uh, got that rectangle. Turn around, that's the front view screen. So, we don't need that on the back. Actually, can we make that a little less gaudy? 13? Yeah, that looks... Actually, that doesn't look less gaudy at all, but it does make things stand out a bit more. So, we'll leave it like that. Uh, this is the roof cube, isn't it? Yes, it is. Make everything else invisible. <laughs> Make everything else invisible. Okay. And last but not least, I think we've already dealt with the, the pyramid. Yeah, we have. So everything else is fine. Although, actually, we're not going to see the other side of that uh, thing, are we? No, we need that one. We're probably not going to see the back of the, the pyramid, so we'll make that invisible. Right, so that's pretty good. Uh, if we have a look in that, that should uh, run very nicely now. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
All right. Reset everything and uh, area. Go to area. No, we don't want to go to 255. 23. So we need a control room. Control room. So one is the entrance, of course. And uh, let's uh, create a cube. No, not there. No, don't delete anything. Just create. What are you doing to me? You ah! edit the room. Ed edit the cube. It's doing this on purpose. It really is. It really is doing this on purpose. Just, just to annoy. And stretch it up. I don't want it to be too big as a room, so we're going to uh, just wall off a lot of it. Okay, copy that cube and uh, edit. From above. Go back up. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, we can't do that. And I'm moving this one. Let's try and line them up as well as we can because I want to try and make this uh, fairly quick. And then this is just like a, a world building area now, we don't need it. Stephen's reminding us that uh, you haven't to delete anything from area 255 because it will screw everything up. <laughs> yeah. Never touch the globals area. Basically, if you didn't put it there, don't take it out. Stretch this up and up and up. I think that should do it. Okay, and move the original cube because apparently we didn't line them up properly. Alright. And now create another cube. There it is. I was going to say I didn't know where it was, but no, we do. Stretch it out. As far as we can. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's as far as I'll go. Oh, 
Right. Do, do. What am I doing? I don't want to stretch it. I want to move it. I like to move it, move it. Move across. This has got to be the most cumbersome and annoying uh, room to build so far because I've just kind of gone my own way and it's really not good, is it? Still, we have that crackle. Crackle that won't end. And uh, edit third one. Stretch it one more. Yeah. So now we have our room. What was that? Why is that one wrong? Which one? Which one is that? Which which cube is that? Is that uh, four? Yes, it is. Right. right we're going to create a rectangle now in that uh, wall there. slightly off center just because it really makes it uh, a little bit disorienting for people which is kind of what we want we want it to look unfamiliar and weird one and uh, zero shade the other walls since we're here as well let's leave it five zero see anything else and this one should be that one yeah if I change that to five this time Yep, that's it. I'll be surprised if that's the next one. But uh, we'll shade it anyway and see what happens. Uh, let's go for nine. And nine. Neither of those changed, so turn around because it's this one. Everything else invisible. And keep going, keep going, come on. Right. Shoot this final one. Oh, nine. Set to news. Looks like the Prime Minister is getting better. He's uh, starting to be able to walk about again, which is always a good sign when you've had uh, the coronavirus. There we are. That is the room done. Okay. So we now need to sort out uh, the entrance. And get that working. Condition. Local. Create. 
condition local edits if hits and it is five uh, then go to and it's an area three so where is my set of notes for area three uh, the computer room isn't it that's what we're looking at here the control room entrance from Control room is 35. Go to 35 in 3. Why are we doing the control? It's the computer room is the last one. Control room, yeah. 35 in 3. And if. And it is 5, isn't it? Rectangle is 6. So uh, we need to change that. Condition, local, edit, condition 1. If hit. Six. Go through it. Now we are where? Right, okay. Yeah, we're in the right place. Although we are apparently uh, flying. So let's get into walk mode. So, we should be between two uh, force fields. We are not. We are. We're between two force fields. So we're in the right place, according to the map. Yes. Condition. Local. Edit. We need to add in the uh, if hit for getting into the control room now. Yes, control room. So it is uh, if hit 15. Then go to 1 in uh, area 23. End if. And it should be this door, unless I've turned myself around and got lost. Here we are. Did we not move the entrance? I'm sure we moved the entrance. Okay. Area. Edit entrance. One. Centre here. Okay. So, go back. Yeah, go back. Yep, yeah. right. So we are now doing the control room. So there we are. Control room. Yes. I just want to check the general conditions again for dying. Text color 12, 19. Yeah, that should work. Okay. Uh, the area 255 floor object is a cube. That's interesting. Go to area 255. I don't see anything. Okay. Um, area. Go to area 255. Did that again. Did I just reset? Oh, for goodness sake. Go to area 255. We'll get there in a minute. Oh, it is. They're all cubes. And they're all invisible anyway. Okay, right, uh, let's go back to what we were doing. Area, go to area 23. 
I didn't do anything in there. I just had a look around. <laughs> so, this is the control room. And uh, we need to... We need to sort this out. This is the control room. So we need some control uh, stations. Like we had in... Uh, basically like we had in the thingamajig. The... what's the word? You know what I'm on about, the brig. Let's make a massive uh, control table. And we're going to have three of these. And whenever you press any of the buttons, it's going to tell you that uh, the controls have been... Uh, Stolen by and uh, taken over by the bond X, so it's not actually going to do anything. Create a pyramid. Is that on top? Is that properly on top? Yeah, it is. So that's in the right place, but not in the middle, which is where I want it. So move it across. That's about right. Okay. Create a cube. Edit this cube. Make it massive. a pyramid on top get it into about the middle edit uh, pyramid talk about it right yeah bring it this way And then we're going to copy those because I can't be bothered making any more of them. There's no point uh, when I want them the same size anyway. Move it across so it looks like... No, don't move me across. Move it across. Press the wrong buttons. Yes, I am. And straight through me. Oh, I felt that as the thing went right the way through. <laughs> I didn't really. I'm just making jokes. Yeah. 
Yeah, that looks about good. Okay. And copy the pyramid as well. Where is the pyramid? There it is. Where is it put it? Oh, it's almost put it in the right place. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty good going. Um, edit that pyramid. There we are. Why is that? Why are the walls so short on the sides? What did I do wrong there? Huh. Okay, let's make sure that they're proper on both sides. Yeah, they are. That's weird. That's very weird. Okay. <clears throat> ah, no, I need to move this table. It's in the wrong place. Move it a couple that way. And that pyramid as well. Yeah. Okay. Now we get to do little fun things. Uh, let's have a cube. Where's I put the cube? Where's my cube? Come on, 3D construction kit. Where's my cube? There it is. I don't want a cube on the roof. I want a cube on the table. Bring me my cube. Still got 5k to play with, so this should fit into the spectrum pretty easily once everything else is sorted out, like the window size and things like that. Don't have to change the position of a lot of things, but we can all sort that out, I'm sure. Yeah, that looks good. Right. A little bit taller than I want it. Yeah. Okay. Edit that cube. No, not edit, uh, shade. I know. Oh, for goodness sake, I know what I'm doing. Get there in the end. Get there in the end. Don't rush these things. We'll be fine. Um, Copy that, hopefully it'll go in the right place now. 13 to, yeah. Oh, why has it put it on the roof again? Give me my control button, you horrible, horrible program. Why? Why put it on the roof? It's obvious where I want to put it.
Okay, got two buttons there. Copy the cube again. There it is. Edit. Excellent. Uh, move it back one. Yeah. This is going to work out, uh, hopefully. We'll have three buttons on this. Uh, yeah. Should work out. Okay. Copy the cube. All this just to put uh, some stuff in that won't have any effect on the game at all. That's the. Th <laughs> it's not going to affect anything. It's just we're putting stuff in because uh, we want to make it look like this is a living, breathing world where things happen outside of what would just be useful for the game. You know. there now. Good grief, we've been going for four hours. Well, we're going to finish it. We are going to finish this today. I want to have it done today. Copy, not... just ignore. And this still isn't the most busy room. We've got uh, area two with all the stuff in it. Yeah, and down onto the table. Whoa, no, it's in front of the table now. Oh, why, why, why is it still crackling? It's very annoying. Is it on the, yes, it's on the table, right. There, okay. <laughs> Why? What? That one's floating. Oh. It's a good thing I checked that. I thought it was in the right place. It's not. Not even remote. Oh, for goodness sake, it's not even in... <sighs> now is it on the table? N yeah. Copy the cube again. Hopefully it'll arrive somewhere I can see it. It does. There it is. Edit the cube. <laughs> Stephen said, remember to save regularly. Yeah, I will. I'll save in a moment once I've got these uh, annoying boxes on... Well, this annoying box on the table. Or, or now, since it doesn't seem to want to do it. File, drive, df not save. 
We are so close now, so close. It's going to be done before you know it. That's going past the table, of course it is. Thanks, Chief. Um, when will the next stream be? I'm thinking Monday. I'm going to take uh, the Easter weekend off and uh, then come back Monday and we'll do some more game playing rather than uh, game coding. I think we'll have a break before we come back for more game coding. So we'll play uh, a game. I don't know what it'll be yet. So I'm happy to take uh, requests if anyone has any. As long as the request is not shut up. Because <laughs> I get that enough when I do stand up. <laughs> Where's it gone? Where? Where's the box? Bloody hell. I can't even see it. There it is. Right. That must be on top of the table because it wouldn't drop down. Only just on the table, but at least it is. Right, so uh, that's pretty good. Uh, copy the final one and then we can put the code in to tell, tell you that you can't use them. Patrick, I did see you see your suggestion about live game hacking. I'm not a hacker. I wouldn't know where to start. Right, there we are. So, edits, uh, what was that? 20? So 13 to... Two on the top, three on the top. Yeah, so let's see. 13 to 20. Seems weird, but okay. Is the uh, control cubes. So. And that one's not on the bloody table either. Right, so let's edit that one. The floating cube. Which is supposed to be on the table, but it isn't. It's the wrong one. Select 14. Which one is 14? Okay, that's weird. Um, where's 14? I don't know, it's five. That one should change. Yes, it does. So, which one's 14? So, it is that. So, why does it not look like it's on the table? Why? What? Is it further back? Is that why it looked like it was floating? Yeah, it's further back. Right, okay, that's all right then. I thought it was floating and it was wrong there, but it's just further back on the table. That's not a problem. I can sort that out. There we are. Okay, right, messages. Uh, condition, message... Edit, I think it was 12 or something, wasn't it? Where we just made one blank? No. 12 was the health pack. Um, it was an early one then, wasn't it? Two, there. Uh, Bondax had...
Bond X have rerouted control. Condition. Give me the. Everything's going wrong. It's starting to slow. Now that we're getting closer to the end, it's really starting to slow. It's message three. Three, we did need that. Condition. Message. Edit. Four. Which. So, had I just put in message two or something? Send it. Bond X have rerouted control. Right, so it's message two. Area, go to area 23. Condition, local, edit. So, oh, I must have added an extra condition to area one then. That's not good. I'll go and change that in a minute. Create. Condition, local. No, don't delete. Keeps going past things. Local edit two. If shot thirteen or if shot fourteen or if shot fifteen or if shot sixteen or if shot 17 or if shot 18 or if shot 19 or if shot 20 then text color 12 print 2 4 14 Delay 50 and if that is so long just for one thing for a bit of flavor text go to entrance one so I can get out of this table and test it And there we are, it's all working. So, there we are, that's that done. <sighs> file, save, to disk, file number one. <sighs> one room left. The computer room. And we're going to have the same thing in there, bond acts of rerouted control. Oh, hang on, we need to... File drives a df not save area. We need a new area, area of 24. Area go to entrance. Conditions. Right, we're in this first place again, so edit. We've added an extra condition, haven't we? Edit, no, condition 5. Accidentally added an extra condition, so we're going to delete that local condition 5, because we don't need it. Right, now we're going to go back to area 24. Final area. So, again, we're creating the walls. I don't know why I've created two cubes like that, but I don't know. I suppose when you make the walls at the same time, make sure that the right size and the right shape and in the right place. I 
again, this isn't going to be a big room because the computer is going to take up most of it. And you're not going to see a huge amount of the computer because I don't really want to show you a huge amount of the computer. <laughs> okay. And edit this one again because I want to move it this way. That's that one done. Turn around and edit the first one again. We'll have to put that up to. Come on, come on. One, two. Okay. Create a cube. Oh my goodness, the amount of stuff we're doing here. And it's all the same stuff, it's not changing. That's okay. And create another cube. Edit this cube. Shrink it. And stretch one, two. Cross and that's as close to the walls as we're going to get, isn't it? So bring it this way. Okay, we're going to save there. File, save, disk one. Oh, so close now. File, df not, save. And edit the cube. Close it in. No, don't move it. Stretch it. Oh, what am I like? Okay. Now for the rectangle, because we need a rectangle. Stick it in this wall here. Edit that rectangle. Oh, please tell me it's actually in the room. No, it wasn't. <sighs> okay. Uh, Steve says, did you finish implementing Martian Madness? Were you going to create a game over or uh, game complete area? No, I wasn't going to uh, do a game complete area or a game over area. I just put text on the screen instead. <laughs> it, it was so much easier and uh, less hassle and uh, meant that we didn't have to worry about uh, memory as much. So I didn't do it. Right, I'm going to shade all of these because... Uh, the last thing we need is uh, to cause problems with uh, all of the shit, the uh, runtime and processor overheads. 
gonna shade all of the invisible except for the bits that we actually need. And I think that one's the one on the left of the screen. Nope, it's the one on the right of the screen. So uh, that was six. Okay. Shade this cube, which means that this one should be okay to make invisible, and that one should dis make it disappear. Yeah, six. Okay, so. Making this uh, work quick. Shade the cube in front of me. Uh, is that the one that disappears? Yes, it is. Might as well shade that while we're looking at it, and then we'll turn around and do the final cube. Actually, might as well do the entrance while we're looking at this, since we're going to have to turn around anyway. Area, edit entrance, and set to where we are. Okay. Shade the final cube. Yep, that's the one. Whew. Right. Okay, um, edit which... Six is the doorway. Oh, so it's the same as the last time. Uh, conditions, uh, local, have we created any local conditions yet? No, we haven't. Create a local condition. If hit six, then go to, and where's my notes on area two, area three, in fact, uh, daughter computer room 17, but, uh, Entrance from computer room is 37. 37 in area 3. And if. And here we are. Right. Conditions, local, edit, uh, let's see the third one, no. Conditions, local, no, don't create another one. Seven, end. Don't want a seventh condition, local, delete seven. Don't want to run out of, uh, what am I doing? Edit one. Right, the space for one more if uh, if check in here. If hit uh, daughter computer room is seventeen. If it's seventeen, then go to entrance one in area twenty four. And if there we are, just enough space for that. So, step backward, and we're in here. Step backward, step backward, excellent. So, we're doing okay. Save, disk, one. Drive, stf naught, save. We're in the final stage now. We just need to add in the computer for the computer room. And then we're done. The computer's gonna be fairly, fairly uh, simple. Shade, cube. Let's make it uh, 13, 13. Let's 
seven and seven. You won't see the top or the bottom of it. I'm pressing the button. <laughs> I'm pressing shift to try and make it move better. But it's not going to... Right, that's the computer. Move it over to there. Then make another one because we're going to have a load of big, chunky computers in here. And a tiny desk in the middle of them. That's in place. Yeah, move it across. All right, we've got three chunky computers. Uh, Steve says, welcome to 3D Construction Kits Expert Club. Oh, thank you. Still lots of things to learn for your next project. Area scales, 2G, object point editing, special variables for set scene and viewpoint control, flying and swimming. Yeah, there's an awful lot left to learn, I'll tell you that. But... Uh, we're getting we're, we're getting a decent game out of this, so that's what that's really what this was all about. I just want a bit of fun, a, a nice fun game that people can enjoy. That's what this is about, and we'll come into the complex stuff next time. And there will be a next time. Dirk Headstrong will return. <laughs> right, let's move that over there. Doof, 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 doof. And one final one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven are the computers. Message create. Message edit. Oh. So I created a message that I can't access. Wonderful. Wonderful. The guys at 3D Construction Kit really know their stuff. <laughs> I can create more messages than I can access from the menu. Oh, well. Well, we're not getting any more uh, stuff out of this then, are we? We'll just leave it like that. 
There's nothing. We can't add any more extras, uh, extra messages, so we can't add flavor text. So there's no point in adding more stuff to this. We have finished. It works. The game is there. File, save to disk, file number one. Guys, it's done. The game is complete and we have 4.7K free. Drive, DF0, save. It's done. It's really, really done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's, we have a game. We have a game. Oh my goodness, we have... It's, it's all there. Oof. Hi, Retrofaith. How are you doing? Um, you've come in just as, as uh, we've finished the game. We've fin uh, I've finished coding. Save to disk, file one. File one. And if I, and if the computer uh, would finish uh, going crack, crack, crackle, crackle all the time, that would be wonderful. Right. Um, drives df naught. Um, eject. We have finished. So emulation. Reset the emulation. We have uh, done it. Oh, so I need to install, insert the disk again. DF naught ins uh, insert. Uh, download. Where is it? There it is. Downloads. 3D construction kit. Run. No, sorry. Run disk. Freescape compiler. Compile the game. Save to disk or tape. Uh, disk. Insert the destination disk now. Here's the fun bit. I've now got to find out where I saved my blank disk. <laughs> Documents. Uh, CPC. Where is my blank disk? Blank disk DSK. So create a copy of that. Uh, duplicate. Uh, Strong one dot dsk insert the destination just drive df naught insert go to back documents open cpc open. why is it crackling so much is it because i've got the window at the funny size uh headstrong one dot dsk see if it is i'll just adjust it a little nope it's still crackling weird Uh, load data file, load from disk or tape, disk. Enter file number one, insert the data disk. File, drive, df0, insert from desktop, Dirk Headstrong one, open, and enter. Insert the destination disk. Documents, CPC, a strong one. Do you require a border? Um, yes, but I haven't got one yet because I haven't compiled it yet. Insert the destination disk. <coughs> to run your world from disk, type run disk. Cat. There it is. File drives DF naught. Save. Save the disk. <laughs> Run disk. There we are. Here we are. Oh my goodness. So when I get uh, the final uh, disk uh, border done, I can run the compiler again. I did just save the 
this didn't I save? Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. That. Oh, command three. Yeah, bring me up. Right, guys, I'm going to compile, sorry, even compress the both uh, games that we just made there. Uh, headstrong one. I'm going to... Ah, give me the... There it is. I'm going to quickly um, compress that as uh, Doug has drawn compiled. And make a copy available to you all. And, of course, I will make the other for copy uh, available as well. So just compress Doug has drawn one. I'm going to make that available to you all now via Dropbox, like in the usual way. And then if I go a little bit uh, slower, that's because I'm moving files around. Then we're going to play Dirk Headstrong and uh, The Martian Madness. Even though it hasn't got the border on yet, we're going to play it anyway and see how it goes. I'm still amazed that this is all done and that we've got it. It's it's done. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Right, share the uh, source code, copy. Right, I'm putting into the, uh, that's, this first one is the source code. That's the sun. I wish I would stop crackling. And files. Let me see what's going on here. Why is it just done that again? Dirk heads from one. Why is it crackling so much? Settings, video settings. Where What's wrong with it? Okay, that seems to have stopped it. Headstrong one compiled, there it is. Share, create link, copy link, close, and there we go. Feel free to play the game. I'll make another copy with the uh, graphic once it's done, but wow. We have the game. So, I'm now going to try and make this a bit bigger without it crackling so much so that we can see it in all its glory. Here we go. We're going to play the game. So, <laughs> guys, oh my goodness. I made a game in 3D. Ah. Oh. If we go in here, what's it say? I can't leave yet. I have to stop the Martian madness machine. <laughs> All right, let's have a full playthrough of the game, if I can do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, guys. I am so happy. Right, here's the Bondak. We're going to smack that up. Robot monster. Boof. Shoot it. Yes, got it. Right, let's get the key for the armory. What's this terminal say? Dr. Drake, to any who find this, the Bondax have created a unit that causes madness in humans. Have they really, Dr. Drake? Well, that's terrible, isn't it? Let's uh, grab this uh, armory key and poof, picked up the armory key. Turn around and head back out. So the Bondax gone. We're safe now in this area. Go up to this door here. 
and down to the armory. Unlock the door. Destroy the enemy of the bond axe. Fire and grab the fuel. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. No, there isn't. So, leave. Oh, where's my map? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in there that we need yet. So, Steve, you are absolutely right, Stephen. Uh, this is the best moment. <sighs> Having a, a new game, and it's like, oh, I've got a game. I'm playing, a, I'm playing a game, and I made it. It's great. So we're now going to go to uh, the second landing bay because we need to get into the storeroom to get the key to get into the brig. There's a bondak, and he's going to screw us over if we don't shoot him first. Yeah. But we were outside of his scan zone there, so that's good. Picked up storeroom key. Shoot that. Storeroom unlocked with key. It's taken the middle bit out. Well, that's no good. What on earth happened there? It's removed the middle. Right, well, I'll have to deal with that. It's taken the back, back wall out as well. Where's the door? Oh, come on. <laughs> We've lost the door. We've lost the door and the wall. How on earth has it done that? I've never seen that happen before. <coughs> Guys, it's... We're stuck. It's removed the wall and the door and everything's gone. <laughs> right, what can we do to stop that happening? Last time that some things were removed, it was because we'd overloaded that room. So, what if we take the top shelves out in the, in the compiler? Would that do us better? Drives, DF0, insert. Shouldn't have to do this, but if we do, then we do. Reset the emulator. Run disk. I can't believe this has happened. Actually, I can believe this has happened. It was going too well. Stephen says the invisible procedure trick should solve this. In that case, let's try that. And it's crackling like mad again. I'm reducing the size of the screen because it seems to stop it doing that. Right there. Settings. Video settings. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. So, guys, you're just a cope with the fact that now it's in the middle of the screen. Uh, insert the original disc again. Right. File. Load. Disc one. Okay, so uh, we're going to need to deal with um, this, aren't we? So we go to store one from rectangle 26 and store two from rectangle 25. Okay, go to area two. Patrick, uh, you're right, we've got to expect bugs. That's why we were testing the game out. 
So, um, now I'm going to try some local condition trickery. Edit, condition one. Right, we're looking for rectangle 25 and rectangle 26. Uh, are they in here? They are not mentioned from this file, so it must be in one of the other conditions. Nope, that's the bond deck. Edits uh, 3. 25 and 26. If hit 25, then go to... And 26. Right, taking them all out. We don't have enough space for what I'm about to do. So... What is the area for the storeroom? Well, one of them has a security key in it, doesn't it? So it's a uh, key to the brig. So where's the key to the brig? According to my notes, I haven't got written. Here they are, um, brig key. So it's area 13, area. Go to area 13. Every single thing is now going to be set through attributes to invisible. It starts off as invisible. We're just going to go through every single one of these. And I'll work out from there what I need on each side. To rectangle five. The entrance. No, we we'll leave that there. Seven for the cube. Invisible, invisible. Okay. And eight. No, 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 no. Eight attribute. Jumped past. Invisible. Attributes nine. Invisible, invisible. Right. The idea I'm just going through everything and making every single thing invisible. What we're gonna do is whenever you enter or leave, it will make things visible or invisible as needed. Using a talk viz. Eleven. Invisible, invisible, okay. Attributes. Twelve. Invisible, invisible. Attributes. Thirteen. Invisible, invisible. And the reason I'm doing this, if I have everything turned off, 14 as default then it will make sure that everything that we turn on then turns off and uh, it will stay off if you know what I mean 15 now, if I remember correctly 15 is the top shelf on that on one side so I'm going to go over here Because that was the, the one that was like the odd one out, wasn't it? Yeah, it's all just shelves. So we're still dealing with, uh, yeah, apart from 15, which is the top shelf on the other side. Right, uh, so basically I need to make a note. One, two... Let's start with that. One, two, uh, something except fifteen is store two, two, and 
15 is store one. Uh, so let's keep going. Attributes uh, 16 is still on this side. So if they start invisible, then I can turn them on and then turn them off knowing that I haven't affected anything that I need to worry about. 17. I think it'll go up to the triangle because that was like the, the last thing we put in. 18. It's uh, 19. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we go up to the triangle and then it starts on the other side. Yeah. Attributes 20. Now, have we uh, dealt with everything but the last few shelves? No. Oh. Okay. Not many left, so 21. Oh, that's it. Right, okay. Attributes 21. Initials invisible. So, oh, it's not on a shelf. That's why I'm getting confused. It, the shelf's already gone. It's just floating there. Right, so yeah, I'm right. Okay. 22 is the... F the uh, Special cube. Yeah. Although I should have changed the attributes there. It keeps jumping past the initial one. Twenty three is a triangle. Oh, no. no, I don't want to edit. I want to add I want to do the attributes. I'm getting there uh, into, you know, we're so used to just editing instead of changing attributes. Okay, so that was 23. One to, so two to 23. And, and two. So that's 24 to, I think, two. Attributes of two. No, not one, not one. Attributes of two, two, two. No. Ugh. Why is it chin going past two? There. Visible. That's the center wall. Right. Uh, Steve says, be careful not to affect or reset any collectible. Oh, that's a good point. So we shouldn't change the attributes of those last two things. The cube and the triangle, 22 and 23. Yeah, we should just leave that. 22 and 23. So on my notes, it should be down to 2 to 21 and 24 onward. be visible and visible okay so attributes uh, 24 brick key is 26 so we'll leave that uh, as it is attributes at 26 have you done 24 edits uh, uh, Stephen says uh, why am I editing I'm uh, I'm too used to editing stuff instead of changing attributes 25 really doesn't want to it's fighting me now it's actually actively fighting me this place is overloaded that's what this is Stephen's asking uh, can i find out what the 
kit game border file is? Uh, probably can, yeah. I'm not going to, though, because I do have a uh, border file planned, and I will deal with that in a moment. Invisible, initial invisible. Just 27, 28. Invisible, invisible. Attributes, uh, 29. Invisible, invisible, okay. Attributes, 30. Invisible, invisible, okay. Attributes, 31. Invisible. Mm. 31. Thirty-two <coughs> attributes. Thirty-three attributes. Thirty-four attributes. Thirty-five. Of thirty six and attribute of thirty seven. Okay, file drive save to disk file number one. If not, save. So, we've got nothing in here except those two objects now. Well, th three technically, because the triangle is a separate object. Right, so, conditions, uh, local, edit, condition one. No. Condition, local, edit, condition two. If it five, which one was five? Exit from store two. Then tog viz. So everything from store two, tog viz two, tog viz three, and all the way down to twenty one, tog viz four, tog viz five. Leave out uh, 15 because that's the one from the other side. Um, need to specify the area. Oh, hang on, I've put it after the go to, haven't I? Go to 44 in 2. If I do it. Before the go-to, I don't need to put in the uh, area number, so it should be fine. Tog viz 18. Tog viz 19. Tog viz 20. Tog viz 21. Twenty-one is all we need. Tog viz two because that's the central power. Tog viz fifteen. Tog viz twenty four. Twenty four to 
37, wasn't it? Tog was uh, 25. Uh, Stephen, yeah, sure, there are other ways to do this, but I'm going to try this first because it will make it very simple. Hopefully, because we're toggling the visibility and then jumping out of the area, so it should be okay. Tog vis uh, 20, 28. My only worry at the moment is if I run out of space on this uh, set of commands because I can only do this one screen. Oh, we don't uh, remove twenty six either, do we? Because that is the uh, that's the block, the the key. Tog, viz thirty one. That should be it. Attributes uh, six as an entrance and one's an entrance, so we shouldn't have changed any of that. Um, yeah. Um, okay, I think we have. I, th I think you're absolutely right there, Stephen. We have. Yeah, we've talked first an entrance. Delete six. That should be it. File, save to disk one. Okay, area, go to area two, because we've got to do it all again now. <laughs> right. No, don't delete anything. What are you doing? Go to attributes, not delete. I want to check the attribute. Yeah, it's all, it's all right. Yeah, type entrance. Right, conditions, local. <sighs> it's done it again. At least it has created one that I actually needed this time. Stephen says this is going to need to be tested. Yes, it absolutely is. Right, area two. Uh, area two, where is it? Uh, area two. Okay, rectangle to store two is 25. If hit 25, then tog viz two in area 13. Tog viz three 13. Tog viz four 13. Tog viz 5, 13, tog viz, not 6 because that's an entrance, tog viz 7, 13, tog viz 8, 13, because we don't do 15, do we? Yeah, we don't do 15. Okay. 
equals 21. Entrance to store, if we do 25, aren't we? Then 25 is rectangle to store 2, so entrance to store 2, go to 6, 13. And if, if, hit, and rectangle to store 1 is 26. Whew, then, tog viz, uh, 24 and 13. And uh, we don't do 26, but we do do 15, which I almost forgot there. 15 and 13. Tog viz, 25, 13. We don't do 26, so we do 27, 13, all the way down to 37. Ah! 28, 13. Right, that should do it. Save, disk, one. And uh, quickly save to the drivers to our drive. If not, save. Now, go into back to the area. Go to, no, not condition. Go to area 13. And uh, edit. It is 37. We do have 37 things. Right. Procedures might have saved uh, typing, but I wanted to make sure that everything was right in my mind in the way that I do it. Uh, that's just how I am. So we're going to test that now. File, no, not file. General and test. Let's do it. Now, we need the storeroom key, which is in the next uh, landing bay. So we don't have to do most of what we were doing before. We just have to do what we need to. So we're going to shoot the Bondac. And we're going to go and get the, the key. Well, we're going to try and get the key. We're going to walk through the door. There we are. Get the key. Storm key. That one didn't work, so I'll sort that in a second. Okay, this room appears to be here. And it's actually running a little bit faster. You were right there, Steve. No, it all works out better. So that works. Uh,
So why didn't we go through the door to storeroom one? Oh, of course, it won't. We won't go through because I forgot to put the go to. <laughs> Yeah, we don't actually go anywhere, we just toggle the visibility. <laughs> go to... Ah! Go to, um... 1 in 13. Go to 1 13. Right, reset because uh, we'll have toggled the visibility on it and not gone and sorted it all out. Test. So, let's do this again. And yes, we'll go in and go out, and we'll see what happens. Store room unlocked with key. Right, we'll try this one first. We're going to go in, and then we'll come, come back out and go back in again. Everything's here. The walls and everything. All there. It's all here. It's toggling its visibility each time, but it's all here. Let's see if this one works now. Wall's gone again. I may not have toggled the visibility of the wall. That's fine, we can do that. Apparently I didn't toggle the visibility of the door. Okay, that's fine. Go back and reset. Area, go to area two. Condition, local, edit. Right, if we're going in for, what was it, number 26, storeroom one. Yes. Right, okay. Um, we don't need to toggle visibility of four if it's storeroom one, because that's the wrong one. Delete that. Thirteen, because that's the doorway. Uh, yeah, give, give me a moment, Stephen. Uh, I forgot to put the doorway back in and one of the walls for the TOG visibility. TOG vis 2.13. Right, according to my notes, this should now work. Right, this should work now, so reset everything and save again. File, save to disk. File number one. And file, drives, df0, save. Uh, don't worry, Stephen, if, if it's confusing, don't worry. I think I've got it. I'm basically, I'm going through all my notes and all I've written down all the numbers, so this should work now. So we're just going to go straight through this one here, because this is storeroom two. We're in the storeroom, and everything that we need for this side of the storeroom is here. All here, all present and correct. Okay, so we're going to go for the sky view. 
and it should be the only stuff that's there. Yep, it's the only side that's there. The big wall is there, but everything else isn't. So it's only this room. There we go. Right. Go back to test. In and out, in and out. So, let's go over here now and get the key to open the other side. on the lock with the key. So we're going to go in here now. Did I just walk through the damn door? As in from behind? Right, now we're in the other storeroom on the other side. The walls are all here. It seems fine. So again, we're going to go for the sky view. And it's the other side that's there now. Although I have a feeling I can see an exit. I can... Oh no, that is the exit that on the side that we're on. So that's okay. That's all right then. But no door. No, no wall. Oh. Have I forgotten the wall? I've forgotten to make the wall clear. Yep. I've got to bring the wall back in. Standard mode, right. Right, area, go to area 13. So this should be empty. Yeah, except for those couple of things. There's an exit. Why is there an exit? Why? Oh, right, yeah. Because it toggles visibility. The wrong visibility. Condition, local, edit. Second one. Store five. <laughs> yeah, five toggles of visibility of four. We need to take that out and add it in on the other side. Because that's the, the exit. Toggle is four. Okay. Um... Right, I need to work out w which one is the wall that I'm supposed to be turning on and off. So, attributes of the... Well, it can't be any of these, because we did 24 to 37, didn't we? Um, we're supposed to do this cube. Let's make it visible. I know, visible. That's the... Right, that's the dividing cube, okay. Attributes of uh, this wall, this cube. What is it? That's the wall I need. So it's three. Number three. Condition, local, edits. Second condition. If we're going through the first door, we don't need to toggle that cube. We need to toggle it on the second door. We need to go to area two as well. Go to area two. Conditions there. We don't need three on that side because that is actually something from the other side. Talk for us, uh, 
3, 13. Okay, so we're now doing all of the toggle visibilities on the right uh, places, or at least we hopefully are. Save to disk one. Right, we've now been going almost five and a half hours, but this should work now. Drives DF0 save. We're going to test it in here first before we do any further. We're going to do a full game test before we go any further. Let's go. Let's do it. We're playing the game. Right. Shoot the Bondak before he shoots us. That way we conserve our energy. Going through. And turn. Shoot that Bondak before it realizes we're here. Fire. Got it. Picked up the storeroom key. Going into the storeroom because if we get the brig key before we uh, go downstairs, then we can actually uh, save ourselves uh, a bit of time. We're in here, grab the key, brick key collected. Everything is working. And there's the wall with the doorway. Excellent. So if we go into, um, we don't need to go into this particular room here, but we do need to go in the one next to it. So let's go in there. Because there's the Bondak, and it's directly at us. Fire. Fire. Don't need the health yet, so we're doing okay so far. And shoot that control. Can we shoot it from here? Force field lowered. Excellent. Right. We need to go and get the fuel tank. That's over there. Fire at the fuel tank. Patrick, if it's too complicated, don't worry. We'll port it to the Spectrum on a, a special episode sometime. Right, come out of there. So we now need to go back over here and into here to pick up the armory key, which we can't see. There it is. Picked up the armory key. And you turn and come back out. So now we go down here. We go downstairs. And we can do them in any order. So grab that button, brig unlocked with key. Yes. Right. We don't want to shoot the Bondak here. That's hidden. So let's just leave him alone and fire at the third control. There it is, there's a fuel tank. Or fuel cell. Oof. Fuel cell collected. Turn off. And back out. This Bondak knew we were here. So, we've got the fuel cell again. 
and out of here. Now we need to go to uh, the barracks because that's got a fuel cell. Barracks is that one there. No, hang on. We've just come up some stairs, haven't we? The barracks is behind us. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I've got the fuel cell. So, we're doing all right now. I think we've got four now. Now we go upstairs, yeah. Do, do. We turned off all the force field buttons. No, we haven't. We've got to go back down. We forgot to go into the janitor's thing and turn off on the force fields. I'm going too quick for my own good. So, we go down the stairs again. And it is generator room next to the armory. You have forgotten something. There it is, the force field. Oh, I'm going to have to get closer. I don't like to walk around. I can't be bothered. <laughs> force field lowered. Excellent. There we go. That. Now we go up the stairs. <coughs> and we're almost there now. So, yeah, we've done the force field and we've done the other force field. So now going into this room here to get another fuel cell. Which is the weird room. Do I need to go in? Yes, yeah, straight across. Leave her for force field three. Here we are. I've got to fight this Bondak, haven't we? And it knows we're here. Fire! Yes! Ah! Danger the force field. I missed the bridge. Fire. And across. So, since we've already lost some strength, I'll just walk through the thing. It'll be fine. Right. 
the uh, Bondak Queen next. No, don't go in the... The Bondak Queen. And then we'll come back to the Martian Madness Machine. Whoa, it's slow. Yes. Get round the corner. Go, 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 go. Oh, she is killing us. Ah. Gotta look down and shoot. Look down and shoot and shoot and shoot. Boof. No. Fire. Fire. What the? Why isn't it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really screwing us now. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Fire. Fire. Turn the fire on. Fire. Yes. The Bondar Queen is dead. Oh my goodness. Where are we? There we are. Right, we need that. Whoops. It's a good thing we don't have falling damage because I'd have been dead by now. We haven't got much energy left. Fire. Fuel cell collected. Sufficient fuel gathered. So, go up the stairs again. Oh, and out the door. Now we come to this hallway again. And we go into this door on the right. Where we will uh, be able to deal with the Martian Madness Machine. Which has got all the weird toggles on it. Yeah. Fire. There it is. <laughs> it really doesn't like this, does it? It's so slow. Fire. You've destroyed the Martian madness machine. Oh. That shouldn't happen. Condition. Local. Edit. Second one. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, what are they? Go back to conditions. What's it toggling? I've added 17 and 18. 10, 11, 13, 14. I'll call edit. 10, 11, 13, 14. So, what are they that are flashing? Go across to edit. Ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Does it not destroy them? Why aren't they destroyed? Okay, if that... Oh, right, okay. Edit. Three. Oh, go back up, go back up. Condition. 
so cool. Edit. If viz seven, then end if. There you are. So that'll that'll stop it happening now. And we're going back out. We're going down these stairs. Have I gone the wrong, gone the wrong way? <laughs> the door's over that side. I'm getting turned around in my own game. Now we go back. to where we can where we came in we can get into the ship and take off It'd be this one wouldn't it for goodness sake how did I do that Right, let's get in the ship. Take off for Earth. Well done. Well, the game works. The game works. There we are. It all it all works. So let's uh, quickly save. No, not save to tape. Save, save to disk. File number one. File drives df not save. Oh my goodness, we have done a fantastic thing today. <laughs> we've made a hell of a game. So we've just, uh, I'm going to make sure we can save it. I know we just did. So now we're going to uh, drive stiff not save. So it's all saved. Settings, uh, reset this. Once again, we're going to load up. The original 3D construction kit disc. Actually, that's a good point. The Dirk Headstrong. We shouldn't have the uh, compiled things on the heart on there because it'll get in the way. Uh, downloads and 3D construction kit. Run and disc. Freescape compiler. One second, guys. Hi, Jen. You're on speakerphone. I'm still doing the live stream. How are you? How's it going? Really well. The game is finished. Really? And does it all work as planned? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said that with a bit of hesitation. Just a little bit. Right, we've got to do so that. It's not quite that bad. <laughs> so it's not as full of bugs as um, <laughs> some of the... Uh, am I allowed to say the name of the studio? Uh, full of bugs as who? Valve. <laughs> Valve don't make uh, games full of bugs. I don't know, wasn't that one where they had to release a patch, which was effectively they downloaded a crack? No, that that wasn't Valve. That was Ubisoft. Yeah. Rainbow uh, Six Siege or something, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. I know there's a few games where there's been some major bugs. Yeah. Oh, wasn't it? Uh, was it Driver? Was it Driver Three or something? Oh, Maybe my actually... goodness! Yeah, Driver Three was terrible. Yeah. Uh, when you could actually fall through the scenery. Yeah, but you know. 
What can you say? <laughs> Uh, yeah, send a text. <laughs> no, I'm just making conversation. Of course I sent a text. Oh, that's all right then. If you just make conversation, that's fine. <laughs> okay. So, how many people do you have on at the moment? No idea. I'm concentrating on uh, compiling the game at the moment. Are uh, you? Yeah. Well, it's lovely out and about being a Kiwi at work as I am. There's hardly anybody on the roads, which is always makes it a joy to drive. Fair enough. Some people are happy, aren't they? <laughs> I have had six hours sleep by accident. Well, in my fairness, in fairness to me, it was quite warm, and there was, I didn't have a book. So I ate your lovely lasagna, and then I, I, I went to sleep, and then woke up six hours later. Fair enough. Well, I'm just testing out the game now that uh, we've uh, created it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks... Uh, it looks like a 3D construction kit. <laughs> so, are you going to create like a super uber retro version on a tape cassette? Yeah, I'll make a tape version once I know everything's fine. Oh, are you going to print out a cover and everything? Yeah, I'm going to print it and I'm going to uh, love it. <laughs> no, I'll... I think you should make one copy like super retro fanzine style. That looks really nice and like it's been photocopied, uh, a hand-drawn thing. Where the hell? It's... Now it's lost another wall. So I take it that those bugs that you did intentionally write in are getting a bit annoying, are they? I don't even know why the wall's gone. It's just... Did somebody demolish it when you weren't looking? It doesn't make sense. It's just decided to get rid of a wall. All right. No, I th you can't fall through the floor in this one, or at least we haven't yet. <laughs> what was that truck driving game where you could go as fast in reverse as uh, forward and actually hit warp speed? <laughs> and none of the bridges or buildings actually had any, um, any substance within the game? Big rigs over the road racing. Well, it looks like uh, the book that we had has uh, sorted out. Just that one there doesn't seem to want to do anything. Okay, well... <sighs> there used to be a bug in Pong, I remember, on the grandstand-type console, where if you turned the switch and didn't quite get it to engage with Pong, it would give you three paddles instead of uh, the usual one. And... Uh... <sighs> Right, guys, uh, it's it's kind of working. There's enough here that you can play it. I'll work when I work out what's going on with the uh, the fact that the, some of the walls have disappeared, which they didn't in the uh, the other version, the the version we tested in the compiler. Just in the compiled version, they're gone. Then I'll send I'll send that out. But for the moment, it looks like it's all working. So I'm going to leave it there. Oh, well, that is lovely. Yeah, so, I'm just... Uh, don't forget, everybody, to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, ringing that bell for full-on gaming goodness. And um, don't forget to stay tuned as well for next week because we'll be having another video of something. Are you finished? Um... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, right guys, I'm just going to upload uh, rebuilt versions of those two files. The, uh, I'm just, I'm not ignoring it, so I wait till you finish so I can tell them the important stuff.
Well, you know, I do. <laughs> right, uh, give me one second. Right, here we are. So, Dirk Headstrong 1, that is the... Uh, this is the source code. I'm putting the source code into the chat now. I, I I don't have that on screen, Jen. I don't know. So there you are, guys. That's the source code. And uh, the full game to play will be... Um, just here, create the link. Copy the link. Uh, full game. Yes, they can all hear it. Uh, Chief says... Uh, Chief89 says, hi, Jenny. Right, guys, there you are. There is the game. Go play, enjoy, have fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really do, because uh, I've enjoyed making this. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, that's it for the moment. So thank you so much for staying with me. We have been live for, uh, my goodness, eight hours? <laughs> we started... You've been, you've been going eight hours straight. We started at two o'clock. It's now five to eight. That's not eight hours, that's six. Six hours. <laughs> We've been going, guys, so long that I've forgotten how to count. <laughs> <laughs> We've been going since two, and now it's uh, almost eight, so we've been going six hours. That's pretty good, and uh, I think... I think we've well deserved this game. I, I really enjoyed it playing uh, playing around with 3D Construction Kit with you. I hope you've enjoyed uh, hanging out. Uh, I've loved your company. Have a great evening. Have a great Easter weekend. Enjoy the game. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Stay safe, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye.